Hello, listening people. Hello. Hello. You're listening to Spit and Polish Presents Unappreciated Masterpieces. I'm Ryan Stolinski. And I'm Bartek. And yes, we are Spin Polish, likingly, because we are always spitting, and we both happen to be Polish. Is that not right, Bartek? You know, Ryan, I give that a tick. In Japan, they give that a circle. Yeah. I learnt that. I learnt that all by myself. That's a big... That's a, Good boy. That's a, that's a fun fact. First of many. You know what's the next fun fact on the show, Bartek? Ryan, lay it on me. Well, I'm going to be a bricklayer. I'm going to lay it one brick at a time, okay? Brick by the brick. next fun fact is what we do on this show. And what we do is we cover movies that nobody else wants to cover because they're the movies that aren't the ones that gain enough emotional reaction. They don't get enough hate. They don't get enough love. They're the ones just left by the wayside. We do commentaries for movies that some people say, Hey, do you really need to talk about that movie? What about the next DC property? Or what about the next Marvel one? Hey, there's a new... Hey, I mean, come on. I want to hear your views on... The Tom Cruise, no, the new Tom Cruise mummy movie. You know, everybody loves the dark universe. My saying is, screw you on that because we need to talk about something real, something right, wiki proper. Quote, screw you on that. Screw you on that, and in reference to anything you want. The next fun fact about what we do is already. is it's fun. We talk about these movies as positively as we can because no one's given them the love they deserve. Bartek. We should just clarify, when he says as positively as we can, it's yeah. not like a challenge. No. It's, it's... It's never a challenge. It's a genuine thing. It's because they are actually genuinely positive Yeah, but, films. you know, with every masterpiece, there's negatives and positives. And you know the thing about negatives? They strengthen the positives. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, the that's the beauty of negatives. <laughs> so, Marduk... Why am I laughing? Because I'm just so excited about what movie we're going to cover. But I don't know what it is. So That's the next yeah. fun fact. That's a Bartek, negative of character. But, yeah. Bartek, what is the movie we're going to be covering? The film that we are covering... I'm so sorry. The movie that we are covering... Because you said... You said movie and I said film. So you that fucking kind of idiot. Let's just call it a masterclass of cinema. That's my negative. <laughs> the film that we are covering today is... The unappreciated masterpiece, Yondro Gemi. Ah... Well, I don't speak Polish. I mean, we are both Polish, hence we're spitting Polish. Uh, but I don't speak it. That's a That's weakness of mine. Yeah. It's not a weakness so much. It's more of a flaw. But the kind of flaw that makes you a stronger person, you know? But I just don't know how to speak Polish. So I think you're speaking... Are you speaking Polish? Could be speaking Yiddish. I don't, I, I don't I want to speaking, cross as anti-Semitic either. I'm speaking Polish. Oh, good. <clears throat> so what are we watching? Ryan, let's get to the core of what I was saying. Oh, great. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really invested now. It's the movie The Core. The core. The core. The core. The core from 2003. The core, the core from 2003. The magical year 2003, where the core of the Earth stopped spinning for some reason. To specifically the outer core. Well, that's exactly what I feel. To, yeah. in resp- you did you just ask me who our guest is for today? That's episode? exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. You know, who's because like- Ryan, you know that we can't always do this alone. We can't always do this alone, and that's why we're not going to introduce our guest for another forty-five <laughs> minutes. Son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> You! <laughs> That's right. We're hi. joined by hi. Hi. Jennifer Peter. Hi. Jennifer Peter. Jennifer Peter Menhennet Oliver. Yes. What? Which? Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's one of the four. Who's our guest, really? Yeah. It's Probably. Oliver Menhennet yeah. with a double N double T. That's correct. Oliver actually. Man in a Hatter. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I so, can also be that. You know. Do you, you wear hats? Uh, I actually really don't. And you're not a man either, so that already narrows it down. <laughs> well, it's men. <laughs> So, are you a hen? Are you a hen? Are you a hen? I mean, he is prudish. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we nailed this. Like the film, <laughs> <laughs> like the film, the core nailed science. Oh, and that's fuck. why we got Oliver in oh, for this episode because Oliver's our resident scientist on the show. As Oliver- you can tell by. <laughs> Baby's Day Out, where a baby grows giant. Oh, uh, well, uh, Ollie yeah. here. Three ninjas, yeah. where. And Agent Cody Banks, where there's a bunch of science. Well, gadgets. there's gadgets. There's yeah. gadgets. And the magnetism of Anthony Anderson. Yeah, it's oh, only oh, something yes. science can yeah. nail down. Absolutely. So, you know, Oliver, you can call them anything you like. Ollie, you know, Peter and Jennifer. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
well, we got you on here because we need to hear the science perspective as well as oh no, you the don't. theater. <laughs> film. Oh yeah, you do because I imagine this film nailed science. This uh, is a film, guys, from heart. 2003 about when the core stopped spinning. What a tragedy. Why had that prop gun, Oliver? <laughs> this is a visual gag that the <laughs> audience has to take our word don't for. Don't shoot yourself, Oliver. You're far too uh, old. Uh, so... <laughs> so uh, no! Uh, so we are going to watch The Core. Now, the thing about The Core is this movie is not your average blockbuster experience because your average blockbuster experience would be the day after tomorrow mm. or Independence Day where they say, hey, you know, facts... Let's forget that to have Jake Gyllenhaal be running around with wolves. Yeah, that was fun, actually. <laughs> or, hey, do you like facts? Well, no. But this film says, hey, can a movie that's a blockbuster be fact-driven? The answer is yes. So get your copy. Wait, what? Yes. The core is all fact-driven. <laughs> so get your copy of The Core ready, because I imagine we all have a legal tender copy of the film The Core. <coughs> oh, Jesus. The Excuse core has stopped spinning in Oliver already. You know, He's already dying. He can't oh, function. I'm dead inside already. Man. Yeah, he, he was born that way. So we need you to obviously... It would be, we don't need you. It would be great if you had a legal copy, because I always say... I've been saying in the previous few installments of this uh, epic story that is Unappreciated Masterpieces that I want the people involved in this project to look at their bank account and see reimbursements and 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 you know and 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 royalties and all that for a movie of this quality you know i want them to see how someone did buy the core i want aaron eckhart to be like the dark knight what's that about i just got some money for the core and that was all the way back Mm. so get your copy because we're going to do a countdown and you're going to Press play when I say play, and you're going to be synced up with us, hopefully, and uh, enjoy the full majesty of the film. So we're going to start in three, two, two one, one, play. Wee. So we are now two seconds in. So this is The Core. Bartek, let's go straight into it. What was your history with The Core? I mean, other than the literal one that you... I live on the you know, planet <laughs> where the, the titular core is a thing. <laughs> Um, this is not science fiction, it's science fiction. In year... oh, that's not. What do you mean? It's a real twist. thing. This is a nice twist. We go into the Paramount. That Mountain. is actually. I actually commended this movie on that. That was my first yeah. note that I wrote down. I'm like, this is really cool. We're actually going in. Because they with these logos, you've seen a lot of movies do fun stuff with them. Like mm. Mars Attacks has like a flying saucer fly behind one of the logos. And this movie's and like, the let's go into movie, the mountain. Ralph was in the yeah. O or Fox. Oh, Fox. Ooh. Yeah. So, what's your history with the core? Um, so when I was in year five or six, I did an assignment with a friend. Actually, it was the friend who rec- who showed me the film uh, Catch That Kid, Nathan. Ah, I love Nathan. Um, he... <laughs> anyone, who's, <laughs> anyone who wants to watch uh... Catch That Kid... Any kid called Nathan who wants to watch Catch That Kid at two separate birthday parties yeah. of their own is my friend. Yes. Um, so Nathan and I, we did an assignment, because I guess we were doing geography or something, and we did an assignment that was based around, like, you know, the earth, and it had, like, the crust, the next thing, the... Mantle. Mantle, was it? Yep, mantle. Mantle. It is. And we did this whole assignment about how, like, oh, let's be two diggers who go into the core of the earth, and we, like, explain facts about it as we go along. So you wrote the script. Um, so I wrote (laughs) the script for this movie, the initial draft. That explains a lot. Um... (laughs) That's my history with the actual core of the earth. Oh dear. As for the film, oh. <laughs> that was just the core of the earth. My oh, dear. I love when he fell. Yes. This is something like I said, science faction yes. here because a science fiction movie would have had the table break or crack. Of but course, he, yeah. he just fell in there like some ham, mm. which was nice. Mm. So Bartek, that was your history with the core of the earth. But what about the core, of the film? I hadn't heard of it. Therefore, oh I hadn't God. seen it. But when you told me about it, I'm like, yes, and I know the guest we need. And I said, yes, bro. Isn't uh, it nice that there are, like, multiple people with pacemakers I like, the, right near each other? I really like, love the fact that everyone on Green World Day gets fucked up by the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's my yeah. personal favourite part that, of this that's, yeah, that's event. Be, it's part yeah. of the tragedy of the I really film. like the... Those dogs are really interesting. There's a lot of them, too. Like, they must belong to one person. Thankfully, they're he's he's smuggling hot dogs out they, of the park. Have you ever seen that picture of Daniel Radcliffe where he's walking, like, 50 that, dogs? Yeah, and he's, like, smoking. It's, it's from like, the film, No One's... Great. So it's like a sketch film. Is but that horns? No. Oh. Horns, there are no dogs. But oh. um horns, there are horns. 
Uh, I could have probably guessed that. I, I love the horns. But I love um, with this movie, when text comes up, it comes up in a in a swooshing like motion, mm. and it makes a swooshing sound. But you know, what I love all of it. This is this is again science faction. It makes the typing sounds as well. Yeah. So when it comes on screen, it goes whoosh, but also click, 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 click. Like 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 someone was typing mm. it when they're on a train. So in yeah. conclusion, I hadn't heard of this film until you know you told me about it, and I said mm. I know the guest. Aaron Eckhart, though. And your histories, oh. guys. Well, I'll, 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 Jennifer. What's your history? Sorry, I was just lost in Aaron lost Eckhart. in the yeah. Eckhart's unswept hair. Look at him; he's he's a scientist. He can play the trumpet. Like honestly, well, can he play it? I mean, he just tooted well, it. Oliver, like... you're a scientist, and you can play musical instruments. Actually, he's not terrible. Oh, well, there you go. He's a music like, critic. Yeah, Jennifer. He's probably had it for about a week or so. Okay, so so what's your history? So my like history. Like this painted fingernail. Back. By the way. Let me take you back to the centuries-old day of February second, oh. two thousand and three. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, back. I'm back. It wasn't actually. Uh, 9-11 happened, but it was terrible. That's... Like that was a few years earlier, but yeah, we're was still just... we're still... <laughs> we're still feeling the shock. We're still. We're still... <laughs> <laughs> like, <what? laughs> I'm still. I'm sure you're used to it. By yeah, then, we're though. still reeling from it. I'm still pissed off, even as a kid, that Cheese TV was cancelled to cover 9-11. But go on. Oh. I'm, yeah, it's okay. So we're in a, I, we're in a yeah, gloomy so age. George Bush gloomy, is president. Yeah. Oh, it's so gloomy. So I remember seeing this movie plastered around my town where I lived at the time, which shall remain nameless. New I York. I saw yeah. the trailers. I saw the posters for it. I'm like, my god, it looks amazing. How old were you? Um, how old was I? I think. I was... Did you want Pepsi and Mountain Dew? I did. 2003. Okay. You would have been 11, Oliver. Yeah. 11 so year old Oliver. Young, Nine, 11. Get supple it. Supple old. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the supple. <laughs> you were saying your young supple I... body wanted to get some core in it. I yeah, absolutely. I always. I, I have to admit, I always did want to see this movie. I saw it around. I never got around to seeing it. And today, well, I mean, the other day yeah. as well. Well, remember Oliver when I told I you what got the to see it. when I told oh, you what lucky. the movie was, you said that you Googled it and the first thing you read was that it's a fun explodey Hollywood movie That is exactly what and I read. And then when I you was... saw this scene where Aaron Eckhart gets groped on the ass by a dead body, you went, fun action. Absolutely. I mean, what good movie doesn't have a dead body ass groping scene? Like, can you name one? I can't. I mean, you can't. I can't. You can't? It's just, you just, I, I mean, maybe Fast and Furious with Paul Walker, but uh, maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe but, gravi- yeah, but he's dead later. Maybe Gravity. <laughs> In real life, yeah. Maybe Gravity. Gravity, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, that's a spoiler for Gravity. You know, there's only two yeah. characters. Castaway. Uh, so this spoiler yeah. alert for Castaway. There's only actually no. He grabs Wilson by the ass. Uh, oh fuck. So in regards to the other movies that we did with myself here, um, I wasn't sure about seeing them, and then when I did see them, I loved them as opposed to this when I wanted to see it, and then after seeing it, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it even more. Yes. Do you like the fact that this guy's in the movie as a general? I love this guy. He he's in everything as like uh, their dad, like in Step Brothers. Pretty much, he's an authority figure in every single. And movie. I love him in Cabin in the Woods, uh, yeah. a really fun movie where he's also, uh, I guess, a military guy. I love this guy and his mustache. I can only imagine he was also a child actor where he played his own father because no one can really out authority figure this. Guy. No one. Can, yeah, like he looks in a mirror when he's I'll telling himself that, off. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> yeah. you get to work, young man, but dad. What did I say? You're right, Dad. I need to get my shit together. Uh, That's right, son. And, and now put on your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and then he turns away from the mirror and cusses himself out. Like, oh, he, I heard what now, I said. I heard some disparaging comments about my 9-11 references before. This? You know, and that's upsetting, Oliver, because did you know Aaron Eckhart did this movie because 9-11 happened? I did not. That's true actually fact, true. Aaron Eckhart did Wait, this movie. IMDb because, trivia. Aaron Eckhart did this movie because 9/11 happened, You're kidding. and he no. wanted and he wanted to do something fun, light-hearted, but also ensure that he gets lots of money because he didn't know what the state of the world was going to be like. I forgot for about his that, career. Man. Like, will will because when 9/11 did happen, it obviously postponed a lot of industries, including yeah. Hollywood. Okay. So yeah, he did the movie because 9/11 happened. So that's why I was referencing 9/11, not just because um it was sad, but also Aaron Eckhart still felt it after two years. That's it's really sad. Yeah, oh, well, one they, year technically for I him believe, if he was doing production. I order. believe they call it an aftershock. I believe they call it an. And Aaron Eckhart shot. Now, now, Ryan doesn't. It took me ages to realize this was in England for some yeah, reason. It said Trafalgar Square. I know, but like, <laughs> what how do you long... think Trafalgar Square is? <laughs> On a Monopoly board, you fuck. So, so 
So right. <laughs> speaking of speaking of trivia for this film, doesn't this scene have a gag? In it? Apparently, this scene here. We'll get to my history later. Yeah. We have a scene here apparently in which <coughs> there's a CGI um, salmon, I think. I think it was trout. Trout flies against the window for some reason it was because like it's like a joke put... by the uh, uh, CGI artists or a whatever. A million what? birds but one trout. One, one trout. <laughs> yeah, you know, so you see, you this know film is, is amazing. I, I think don't it know. It's a car, doesn't it? I don't know. I did not rewatch it to figure, figure that out. I mean, that's. Piss poor effort on my part because I watched frame oh. by frame a 15 minute sequence in the uh, tuxedo. It might be here. It, in the tuxedo to I prove Bill Murray was not in it. I think it has something to do with the car, but I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, I'm looking really into Maybe, it maybe the driver was the trout all along and they just didn't want to. I love the bus driver who gets this and he's like, oh my <laughs> god, I better keep driving. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't drive, but if that happened to me, one of my first instincts would be to stop the. Like, the yeah. the mo- the vehicle I'm in. You know, stopping a bu- double decker bus like that would actually it's take very, a bit of time. Yeah, because it would have so much. But don't you like how he has a lot of space to drive willy nilly along? Oh he no, does. is everybody dead? I hate when people die in films because that means they died in real life too. Uh, Science faction. This is a, there. It is. I saw it. There was really? a sign. Yep, I Did saw you? it. Yep. Oh, I missed it. That's you fucking great. missed it. You're too busy well, laughing about people dying. Well, if how it's, macabre, if Jennifer. If it's come and gone, then Ryan. So, so we heard Jennifer's story. backstory, yeah. but what about Peter's? <laughs> so I actually started. That's the movie. Peter. My name is Peter. Peter. Yeah, I'm Peter. an interpretive dancer from Leicestershire. Oh, so you were the you were the fish. I was it. the fish. You know, thank you for noticing. I tried really hard to you know, get into character, and well, oh my god! Like, oh my god! No, 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 really no, no! <laughs> 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 oh look, Australia's mentioned. So clap, clap. Why but where's he, Poland? Crikey! Why, why is it that Aaron Eckhart in this entire movie, in every scene he's in, he looks like he just got out of the shower? Because he's doing. You know what I said? Now, Oliver, you're a science guy, so I think you can back this up. <laughs> Um, you know when the camera was getting ready, it was like, oh, they're going to show a sexy scientist. Oh, and yes. there's nothing, there's, that's not a true statement. There was no such thing as a sexy scientist. Uh, well. uh, so when you see Aaron Eckhart, they're like, oh, we have to make him not sexy. So what does he do? Mm. He wears his shirts untucked, but he wears his jumpers short enough. So it's like awkward looking yeah. in a formal tie. And he doesn't comb his hair. And he hasn't shaved in a bit. Now that's <coughs> making a dorky looking Aaron Eckhart. Sexy. All they need would, was mm. glasses on him. It's like my favorite was like, was it Meg Ryan helicopter pilot in a movie? Yeah. It was like, it's really pushing it. But my history with this movie is one of a usual kind. I saw this at a young age on television. It was on TV and my parents were like, oh, I like sci-fi. Let's watch a movie about the core of the earth stops spinning and they make a space train, you know, to yeah. go to the core. And I'm like, I like space train. I like Murder on the Orient Express mixed with Journey to the Center of the Earth. Can That's my favorite combination of sci-fi. Can we acknowledge that how... he did grab a grab a book from the center of the book yeah, pile yeah. and then just let them all fall? Can we acknowledge how phallic this entire movie is? Yeah, is Aaron, that coming up. Or? Aaron Eckhart. Yeah, he 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 is very phallic looking. You know, he's got a head. I mean, the entire uh, premise, tip to that head. The entire premise of the movie, right? Yeah. You're taking a tube-shaped object, drilling down deep into a hole. Look at that spaceship. It's tube-like. And then dropping a load. Yeah, exactly. And look at this spaceship. It's it's phallic. It's got see the fins. They're kind of like ball sacks. Oh my god, you're right. And then and I don't know what the top one is. Uh, that's maybe that's Earth. I don't have foreskin, so maybe, maybe that's what foreskin looks like. I don't know. I don't know. Don't judge. I don't, and you know, and in each one of us, we all have Bruce Greenwood driving us and Hilary Swank <laughs> yeah. wanting to drive our penis. You know what? That's very true to life. Thank Science faction again. We were thinking May it. I thank you that. for saying it. Yeah, it's a, you know, people said to me when I told them, hey, I've watched The Core, and they're like, that film isn't very accurate to science. You know what you should watch is accurate to science? Interstellar. And I said, hey, screw you, buddy. <laughs> Interstellar has a jive-talking robot. I'm not interested in that. I'd rather watch a movie that has a jive-talking Stanley Tucci. Thank you very much. Oh, we haven't even yeah. we have yet to meet the Tucci, but I love a movie that con- tries to convince me that he has hair. It's great, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I love the Tucci. Don't you like this black guy that we never see again? So he probably <laughs> died. <laughs> like you know, there's a point where you see these characters. And you're like, oh, why are they in it? 
It was, like, it was actually a legal standard. You can't have an intergalactic. You can have two or... black people in a movie. You're right. You can't. Not in the same scene. Not in the same scene unless it's, it's impossible. It's set in downtown. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like downtown in any city. Well, they, they <gasps> both. Oh my god, a black woman. That's. Oh my weird. god, and this black woman is a real hero. You know who she is, guys? No, no clue. Have you guys watched Luke Cage? Oh yeah. Uh, in the TV show Luke Cage, she plays um, a uh, what is she like a senator? She yeah, plays. Yeah, she's, she's a government government like, a state something or state other. senator or whatever, and yeah. she's like an evil politician. She's like one of the best aspects of the show. Yeah. And what I love about her, I've, I'm blanking on her name off the top of my head, but what I love about her is she was an actress that I would define as the 90s, mid, early 2000s uh, black actress in terms of... She was in everything. Mm. She was in Star Trek First Contact. Really? Yes. Okay. She is in a famous scene in which she's telling off Picard for being like Captain Ahab <laughs> about <laughs> Borgs. And then she's in Scrooged, uh, the Bill Murray uh, Christmas Carol movie. She plays his secretary that he just screws over. And then mm. she's in a movie that is very dear to my heart, mentioned in the last episode... Heart and Souls with Robert Downey Jr. Um, she plays the sassy black woman, but like not your typical sassy black woman. She's a mum, and ooh. she's like pretty much the emotional core of that movie because that whole movie, Heart and Souls, is like he keeps getting possessed by all these dead people, and Robert Downey Jr. has to act like them, and he freaking nails her. Like he's, yeah. she's he's the be- she's the best so, one that speak, he does. Speaking of emotional cores, what's happening in the movie right now? Well. The emotional core that is Bruce is trying to land uh, a spaceship. Now, here's what's happened. Hilary Swank <coughs> needs to grab out her book that has all of her medals on it, all of her yeah. patches, to let us know, the audience, that she is, in fact, an astronaut. She's doing some Because some science, people in yeah. the audience would say, hey, can a woman be an astronaut? In 2003, and it's the answer is doubtful. yes. It's doubtful. Yes, the answer is yes. I mean, wasn't there an astronaut woman, a former astronaut woman, who went crazy and, like drove a really long distance to kill someone and she wore adult diapers and all that. That's, this is a true story. Really? I think it is. Like there was, So there was a former sure? astronaut who went like nuts and drove across America to hurt someone and she wore like adult oh. nappies and like and That's like oddly ration and used and used her and used that. her astronaut techniques to ration herself so she would not have to stop driving. I mean, astronaut techniques, you know, like like rationing, well, military techniques, I guess, like rationing <laughs> food, pro, um, micro sleep things, so that way she never really had to rest before traveling all the way across America in a car. Using the adult nappies so she doesn't actually have to stop for a toilet break. That's, that is out of this world. That's quite ironic. I would watch that movie. That's quite ironic. <laughs> I, you know what? I probably would. That's. Quite it's ironic for like the whole romanticism of astronauts because they like go to space they look at the earth like wow it's so small but there's all this conflict and then, in this one little place and then they go back and they make like huge conflict no no I personally like I thought you were going to go like this it's so getting rid of the mysticism of, of space like you look the romanticism you look up and you're like wow the stars and but little do you know at the space station they're looking at down at us saying I want to kill them oh <laughs> can you imagine like knowing <laughs> someone up there would want to kill you I feel Looking pretty. Up at the sky. I'd be hard about that. Houston, yeah. this is a message from yeah. the. Ship. Come on, I want to be. I, how awesome <laughs> would your death be if you got killed by astronaut? You'd have on your tomb. What killed I, by spaceman? He what saw the by an astronaut in space. Well, dying I, in space. Though. Oh my god! There's yet to be a murder in space. That we know about. That we know about. Ooh. I mean, we don't know what happened to those chimps. We have no idea. Guys, clearly. But is it technically a murder if it's chimp? Uh, yeah, you murdered. You guys an clearly haven't seen two thousand one: A Space Odyssey. Well, that's that's science faction yet again. Yeah. But for science, though. yeah, for science, guys. So Oliver, you're a big science guy, um, obviously. But how about you, Jennifer? Explain to me landing a spacecraft in LA. Well, is um, it hard? Yeah, Talk about the readings it's, in it's university. It's pretty hard. But um, but what about how um, uh, Marissa Tomei, uh, Hilary Swank, Hillary and Swank, Sandra yeah. Bullock are all the same actress uh, well, that managed to land it in a little canal? Well, honestly, I I think they're amateurs. I mean, I could do it so much better. Like she's she's not even really gripping the control stick. It's so, terrible. I don't know, like I don't know how spaceships work. So why couldn't they just uh, uh like be a plane and just steer? around you know what i mean i don't i don't understand yeah, well right i don't think 
you really know how spacecraft works. I, I, you con- should... I, I did confirm that. I think you should shut your stupid face. <laughs> <laughs> so what I find interesting is that in GTA games, like, the I knew that we were going to get solid. And now bring me to Saved by the Bell references. My <laughs> <laughs> connector. Skeeter. It's all solid. It's That's screech. Doug. Is it Screech? <laughs> am I thinking of... Am you I were thinking, thinking of, of Doug. I was. I was. Now bring us to Doug as well. <laughs> it's so 90s. What a... What a... Fucking what? Is it Saved right? by the Bell? Was that the 90s? It, it was, was 89 was. to 92. Well, so, that's well, a lot that's, of the 90s. Yeah, it's like three quarters of them, man. Well, so like, you were saying GTA also is a bit where you land a spaceship? No, no, no. I'm reason. saying... <laughs> I'm saying... <laughs> you're saved by the, the Bell? The environments in GTA, you can't destroy them. So, like, it should stop a vehicle that's moving against it. Mm. Hey, is Dr. Zimski... Is what's his nationality? What's his nationality though? Like, what's a Zimski? Zimski. Is that is that Russian? Is that is that Ukrainian? Polish? It's not a ski with an I, so definitely not. Mm. Fuck you. I don't. I don't know if it'd be Eastern European. No, 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 guys, he's European. Oh my god, no, he's Tucci. (laughs) Um, His nationality is. I just love that Tucci's head reminds me of that of a light bulb. You know, like, you know what I'm talking about? I just kind of noticed it right now. Yeah, yeah. I really, you know, I really do like... You know why? Because he's bright. He's bright. That's all right. Uh, He's, you know what I like about this character of Conrad Zimsky is he smokes. It makes me realize that smoking is really disappearing from TVs and movies. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. remember when you could define a character by they smoke a lot? Yeah. Look at this movie. I, mean, I don't want to foreshadow too hard, but, uh, hmm. you know, smoking is a final moment of him in the movie. Yeah, so. Smoking is like the science movie equivalent of two teens having sex in a horror movie. It's like, it's a death sentence. It's y- yeah, it's bad for you, and we know it's bad for you, and you're gonna die. And this movie's about, not the ozone layer, they never mentioned that, uh, the <laughs> electromagnetic field. Yeah, no, uh, you the know, M you field. Know, the M field, you know smoking wears that down. <laughs> you know, I don't want to bring up that fact, but you know, you're polluting so the EM. We are not thinking about the ozone layer, we are thinking EMs. We are thinking EMs. The EMs around us, the EMs below us. You know, EM, M and M. You know, we're oh thinking God. about Eight Mile. Is that a good movie today? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, but is it as good as the core? Probably. Nah. <laughs> Probably not as good. I mean, does the core feature rap battles? Is the question. Well, the core has a black man in it, so that is there. You so go not nailing even, it. You know <laughs> nailing it. <laughs> Nailed it. You know, all the black people meet Hillary's wank. <gasps> Hillary's wank. Um, no, that's a joke my dad says all the time oh, too. Good one, mate. Yeah, you're my dad now. Um, so, dad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, son. What do you think of? Give us some thoughts on some of the lead actors in this. So we have like Hillary's wank and Aaron Eckhart and Stanley Tucci. They're like the three main actors that people know. What are your thoughts on each of them? Do you know them very well? What are your opinions of of them? They're good, like my ex-wife. <laughs> that's your mom, isn't it? No, that's my stepper mom. <gasps> do, do, do. You, Jennifer. <laughs> no, seriously. What do you What do you think of certain of the certain actors I mentioned? Do you have Have you seen much of their works? Um, I've seen the new Karate Kid. Oh, with uh, Sorry, the next Karate Kid. Wow, I didn't know Aaron Eckhart was in that. Yeah, it's Mr. Miyagi. He, he was good as the female student. <laughs> he's just so good he can even play her. No I like the part where uh, Hilary Swank dances at the monastery, then she stops, and then the monks start dancing. Oh. Fair enough. What about you, Oliver? I think I have a problem with Hilary Swank, honestly. Yeah, she looks a bit like too... She's just, just too she, damn good. She reminds me way too much of Sandra Bullock, you're right. She, I, just to let you know, Oliver, he's calling back to an episode we did earlier this no, year. No, this is just my personal opinion. I, I also think she reminds me a lot of Sandra Bullock. He's calling yeah, back to our, our Oscar episode. So what about... Yeah. So you like her? She's just too damn good, huh? She doesn't know what it's like to lose. Wow, that's that's tough. What about... what about? You clearly haven't seen Million Dollar Baby. <laughs> <laughs> what about Tooch? The Tooch. The, the Tooch. I mean, what, what can you really say? About the tooch. I mean, uh, that that nails it. <laughs> I mean, what can you really get in, like get into? Oh, so much. And what about the ex? Guys, moment of silence. I've always found Aaron Eckhart to be really too. Thick, Guys, honestly. Uh, moment of silence. Aurora Balearis just died. Oh no! It was located <laughs> this time of year. And... Aurora Borealis. 
You said it like a raro barley. A raro barley. Guys, guys. You want drinks in these guys? Guys, can we please take a moment to mourn a raro barley? Guys, like, rest in peace, English language. A raro Hashtag. Hashtag, I miss a raro barley. God. What? Rest in peace, Adrian Borealis. <laughs> Adrian Brody Alice. <laughs> <laughs> he's my favorite actor. <laughs> he's my favorite event in the sky. <laughs> just pictures of Adrian, Adrian Brody's face appear in the oh, sky above him. I like these so guys. I like them too because they have no sense of humor, which is what I have. And they actually say that they have no sense of. Humor. Oh, they're characters. So they have to stay. They have to state their intentions. Yeah. That's how characters are. Yeah. Me, I have a complicated history with these actors. Like Aaron Eckhart, I'll be honest. I know him from three movies. Yeah. What are they? The Dark Knight, obviously, is yeah. the big yeah. one. This and a movie that I think is severely underrated, one of Renee Zellweger's best, but definitely one of Morgan Freeman's uh, most uh, eccentric roles, uh, Nurse Betty. Oh, he was in that? Yes, Aaron Eckhart is uh, Renee Zellweger's jerk husband who gets brutally murdered by Chris Rock. <laughs> and uh, he gets scalped to death, and the plot oh, spirals out from there. That. And Aaron Eckhart plays a real scumbag with a mullet. Oh, so wait, that was he the guy that did the scalping? He was the one who got scalped. Oh shit! So um, then the Tucci. I love Tucci. Mm. You know what I love about the Tucci? Mm. He's he is single handedly the saving grace of any movie that he's in. No matter how bad the movie is, he gives an Oscar worthy performance. The Hunger Game movies, not my cup of tea. Mm. And the acting is good and all around <coughs> in them. But Stanley Tucci shines as that crazy host, really you know, does, like, he? and he yeah. really brings it his own. But you know, a movie that I hold dear to my heart That's for the Tucci, absolutely not the core, the core, no. <gasps> Um, Lovely Bones. Uh, the Lovely oh. Bones by Peter Jackson. Not a very oh, good movie. Yes. It was a bit pretentious. But he gave an Oscar-nominated performance in a movie that's considered to be terrible as, like, the killer. Yeah, you see, he's the killer in The Lovely Bones. Yeah, and here's yeah. the thing. I had this argument once, and I think this is a fair statement. Um, he was such an unlikable, murderous psychopath, but the movie was so terrible, and his performance was so real and genuine that I actually kind of sympathised mm. with his um, character. Just to divert back to that the is movie. an apple, yeah. <laughs> Fun fact: in the trivia, it's an apple with a peach core shoved in it. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's true. They're, apparently, the peach did not test well. Oh, okay. So they're like, but we still want to go with this peach idea. We definitely test mm. our, our fruit. So that's yeah. an apple. I was gonna say it didn't really fit. Yeah, but like, this explanation of the Earth's core isn't actually that bad. Like, it's yeah, it's true. There is a lot. there is a peach core in the. Uh... There's a yeah. No, well, I mean, how how where do you think peach trees come from, you idiot? You fucking got me there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see them on other planets. Yeah, ex- yeah, they don't have peach I don't see cores. them on the moon. Got yeah. me there. Oh, Ooh. nailed it. Um, nailed yeah, it. no, really, like, like Christ. <laughs> 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 yeah, but are you going to say that it's fair that in a room full of um, men and women and mainly men uh, that are military experts and also experts on technology that they need to be shown how the world's going to be on fire? I think they need to be shown how fruit works. You! Go get me a can of air freshener right away, <laughs> sir! And he finds one in the military base. Is that's it, one of my favorite wait, parts of the movie. About, I think that's about to happen. Yeah, I think it's already happening. It's, He's already yeah, asked, already like, asked. go get me it. And then the guy's going to run in with what I think is a generic can of air freshener, but it's like mm. silver with no form of branding yeah. on it. Because you know why? The military mm. only have their own, their own yeah, air freshener. Everything is sleek and non branded. They have mm. secret, uh, you know, secret brands. Oh, but what are microwaves? Tell me. <laughs> oh, That's thanks. How we make food. Thanks, Tooch. But Tooch, I respect it. There it is. No, no, I was wrong. Wait, it actually branded? does have branding. Oh, far out. I'm, I'm, I'm off the chain. It oh does, my god. But we, but we can't see it. Yeah, well, obviously. Oh my god, sun. we can. It's Japanese. Is it though? <laughs> yeah. Look at that apple. <laughs> That's. It is apparently. <laughs> What? It's actually an apple. <laughs> it's in the trivia. It's like they used an apple to set on fire instead because the peach didn't do well. I remember Roger Ebert said No, that it changed. Silly. It was a peach before and they turned it into an apple when it lit on fire. Did you see that? Science faction. Oh my god. I, I fucking nailed this. Fire I, turns No, does this happen when apples. you spray deodorant, I mean air freshener, on fire onto an apple, I mean peach? Do you stick it in water? Does it do that? And then, now it's black? Well, no, it turned metally. Like, what? when he stuck it in the water... Oh, yeah, the metal from the water was drawn into was but, drawn into the fruit, and it yeah. became... Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
See, see, I'm glad that we got a scientist on here. Now, now, science man, I wanted to ask another question. How many sexy Stanley Tucci-like scientists are there that are so renowned that even the general public want to be them? I can think of one scientist in real world. Okay, Stephen Hawking. Okay. No, no. Tucci himself. The Tooch. He's yeah. he has got acting down to a science. So it I is. think I think we can call him a scientist. I think it's a fair statement, you know. And Aaron Eckhart too, you know. Oh, but mm. like not as much because he's got like a weird little pimple on his chin. I've been looking at it throughout the, yeah. the whole movie. He's got crazy eyes. No, he's got sexy eyes. You should see him in the dark night. He has a real sexy eye in that one. <laughs> so <laughs> What if we could <laughs> It took you a little while to get there. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Bartek. Me. You went in blind to this. Yes. And Oliver, you, mm. you, you had already seen it, but you had not I, remembered much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you no, you had, no, you hadn't no, seen no, it, but no, you knew yeah. about it. I did. You guys basically went in blind. But he knew the science. Oh, yeah, of course. Bartek knew the film. Oliver knew the science. And that's Dude. why they are, yeah. that's why they are science filmmakers. Science. Wait, wait, wait. Coming out this summer. Oliver and Bartek's newest film, but science oh, we should, noir. We should clarify. We should clarify. Australian summer, not American. How many sales does it have to be to be a blockbuster? A lot. Do you think this could be a blockbuster? At least science, science, noir, science noir, in which Stephen Hawking has to figure out who murdered the ozone layer. We have to find out who robbed the world of color and why is it in black and white. It was Al Gore. Uh, it was always Al Gore. Global that's warming. the inconvenient truth of it all. The inconvenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like Bartek has this limp cigarette in his mouth. And it's like at the end of the Maltese fuck. It's like this is the stuff that dreams were made of. He's like, this is an inconvenient truth. And has the DVD in his hand, and he puts it in, and then the movie rolls. And then I eat the cigarette. And then no, that's not sciency. You then roll the cigarette out, get all of the tobacco out of it and plant it in the ground to make it grow again and you use the paper and recycle it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. There's a sonic laser yes, here. Yes, sonic lasers. Now, that's, do that's sonic lasers exist? That's a thing. And do they exist on this scale? Or could they exist on this scale if they don't? I think you're asking the wrong questions. Okay, I think... where do I get one? I think How the... much does it cost? Let's listen to science. I think the question to ask is where is Tooch and why is he not in this scene? Because Is I... he not in this scene? Is I he think not he's in this scene. Isn't that him in the fancy coat? He's not in every shot. and that's... Oh, you're right. It should just be a 14-hour movie of his face. And if he's not in the shot, they should have just a little box, like a picture-in-picture picture, down in the corner, just so that you know he's still there. Hmm. He's watching over us. You know what they should do? They should have, like, a little, yeah, picture-in-picture picture over everyone else's faces of mm. his face reacting uh... to his own acting. Ah, yes. That's what we call a react channel there. Stanley Tucci re reacts to Stanley Tucci being Stanley Tucci. And then his mum reacts too. <laughs> and his mum is just him in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, that's my tooch! <laughs> How did they get to see that toochie? Uh, he's this Jewish, is... by the way. No, <laughs> Yeah, in my copy, I couldn't see this. I couldn't see the fact that there was a channel every... Well, it's every very obvious because it's in the centre of the frame, but, you know... <laughs> but the, the context around it, I couldn't see that it was in a mountain. It was either the hole itself or it was just the side of the mountain. Could you see a mouse? I could. Now, Bartek, you're an expert on unobtainium. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Avatar. Now, Avatar is also science faction. Ugh. The thing about Boy, people. the other thing about unobtainium is that it's incredibly hard yeah. to find. Yes. You know, but luckily this movie managed to ask the best people in the world to gather some un unobtainium <clears throat> so they can make a space train out of it. And that's that's the joy of film, you know? Like, mm. this film saying, hey, unobtainium may or may not be real. It's up to you to decide. And um, we saying it is, of course. Of course. I yeah. mean, you're a science guy. And it's you know that Bartek, and it's yeah. got pretty little patterns on it. And well, those aren't patterns. Those are, those are just cracks. Mm. But it doesn't crack because it, it, it was made by a black man, so it don't crack. You know, that actually, that's science. Right that's that's also, that's also genealogy. Are you, yeah. Have you also got a black science degree? I'm a black scientist. I didn't want to brag about it, but Bartek, I'm not in fact Polish, but I, I am in fact black scientist. I actually suspected it, but I didn't want to bring it up. Oh, well, yeah. I'm a black drama artist. Oh my God, Kanye West? Yes. Hey, Kane West. Uh, 
Why are yeah. you sighing? Do you not yeah. like Kane West? Uh-huh. Are you not a fan of Gold yeah. Digger? Everyone uh, loves no, Gold I, Digger. I ain't messing with no broke uh, people of African American. You, you, could, you could say it. You could, Af- African American. You could no. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> If Kanye West put the N word in his song, he wants you to sing it. I'm, I'm not sure that's. That's exactly that's, what that's Kanye right. West's attitude is like. <laughs> Nigeria, please. I <laughs> really don't trust anyone that names their child North. West. Um, just North. so you know, his last name's West. And you so. know what? That's relevant to this movie because he's obviously a big fan of. Kanye? Yeah. Speaking of decisions. Yeah. Um, I read a review for this film by a guy called Roger Ebert. I hate Roger Ebert, <laughs> but go on. He, he gave this film two and a half out of four stars. Well, that's all right. I give him a bit is, of a half there. Yeah. That's over 50% for Roger Ebert. And to be fair, oh, he, and I. he actually <laughs> admitted that he liked it, oh. but he was upset about the fact that he liked it and had to justify <laughs> not recommending it. Oh. He literally said you know, that in his review. Hey, you know that? You know chocolate? I like it, but I just hate it that I like it, so I'm going to give it no stars. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. <laughs> Can you imagine being a food critic and getting away with the same shit? Like, mm, I went to this restaurant, they made a nice fish tartare. I loved it very much, but I hate fish fundamentally, so ugh, I give it no stars. This is my favourite character of the movie. Rat? Right here, rat. Oh, I thought you meant that mole on his arm. I mean, well, yeah, who do you think I was... I like what, you that mean the human it's attached to? No. no, of course not. I like his shirt that had like a little square on it and like it has a little cartoon in it or something. Mm. I, I, what is it? Like, I don't know what's going on with this 2000s fashion, but mm. I miss it. I want it back. You know, DJ Qual is like 40 years old. Have, and you, have you just, uh, have you watched Iron Fist? Iron Fist? Mm. I have not Iron Fisted, no. Mm. The, I have the, yet. You know, a good fisting is okay every once in a while. Did they have DJ Qual's in it? You know what? They didn't. They didn't. No. Fuck off. Is Iron, <laughs> Iron doesn't, Fist? Doesn't... Iron Fist is when you spray a can of the uh, air freshener onto your fist, yeah, and then you yeah. set it on. No, you're setting a can of air freshener on fire onto your fist, and then you quickly stick that in water, and then your fist becomes iron, and then you can punch people. With that it. actually makes sense. No, if, was... if you don't stick it in water, it'll just turn into a. Doesn't nap. doesn't yeah. doesn't Tekken mean Iron Fist? There you go. It's a Tekken movie. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, Bartek, you went in blind. What were you expecting, and what did you get? I was expecting a nice, whimsical journey to the center of the Earth, where we, were, where we learned science facts, much like my performance with Nathan back in fifth grade. Aww. Uh, we got. Which one were you? I was just... guy number two, and he was guy number one. No, but in this movie, which one in were you? In, in the context of your story, which one um, were you? Well, I remember one of Nathan's lines was that our watches were going cuckoo. Ah, so you so were the he, heart attack guy. So he was a bit more of a funny guy. Best scene in the movie, by the way. Oh, yeah, where he just blows. is yeah. like, now you have free roaming. Nobody order. controls the net. Could you, with unlimited resources? Oh, oh well, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> the planet. Uh, I want to hack the planet too. That's literally not what he said, though. He didn't even say hack the planet. He said control the net. Uh, not the Bartek. Yes. Which? So you weren't the funny guy, but you, like you in this in this movie, though, which one are you? Which one am I? Yeah. Which character was your character closest to? Because you know, it sounds like a mm, it sounds like you wrote the script. It's been a long time. I'd have to think hard about it. Like, did, did you know the- that some of the original lines for this was "I need tapes of Star Trek in Hot Pockets," and then the other one was SpongeBob in Hot Pockets. Uh, Sponge, but then they realized it's a bit creepy if this forty-year-old man's asking for SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob's a good show, man. Uh, it's for children though. Like this is when SpongeBob is new. Yet- yeah, I is like this. Like, when was SpongeBob made? Was that two late nineties, wasn't it? Late nineties is two thousand three, so it's mm. still newish. Mm. I love. She was eating something, and then like, no, no, I'll, I'll just keep it in my mouth. That's where food goes, lady. Mm, it is. You know, I love um, that. That's something about the core. Like it gets right scientifically. You put food in your mouth. That's you know, geoscience taught us that, and I'm glad we remembered it. And the military taught me that too. You know, yeah. major childs because she's a child. I mm. thought that and the, the Bible end, maybe taught she comes us the that. Adult. She becomes well, a man. the Bible is science, Bartek. Oh. We went through this. You know, I base my medicine on on the Bible. <laughs> you know, this kind of just completely sticks its f- face in the fact that you know, Hollow Earth is a conspiracy that I'm not sure many people have heard well, of. How can it be hollow if it's flat? I mean. 
Actually, you know what? You've just disproved Polo Earth. Right there you now. go. Yeah. I just so disproved not, it. I don't really have a response to that. <laughs> it's, like it's like saying exactly paper right. is, It's like saying paper is hollow. Yeah, I mean, technically, is it? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, isn't everything hollow if you just keep going down with a microscope? Oh, I know I am. But, but, but all of it is exactly. hollow Earth basically what it sounds like? That the Earth isn't filled with stuff? Yeah. You yeah, remember that much. episode of Futurama where they first find Nibbler and the entire planet's been hollowed out mm. because Nibbler's eaten all the shit in it? Um, <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. So Is Nibbler in this film? Um, do you not see the French guy? <laughs> Serge? Sergio Serge Leone? Sergei? 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 The Frenchman. I like how he has a family. In case you didn't know, this guy has a family. He so... only mentions it every... F- Fucking scene is in. Hey, that's unfair. He's only in a lot of scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Until he's not. So, Holland Ryan, wasn't his tie already all right by this point? Yeah. Um. Yeah, he nailed his tie. Uh, mm. I'm a tie spurt, and I know yeah, that's that. Why I asked. Is that a tie expert? Yeah. Oh, I'm using buzzwords. Come on, Oliver. Hey, keep it together. Hey, 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 Peter's you know, on board. You know you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know you don't actually need a tie if you're wearing an amazing turtleneck. Like yeah, but but he's not the one with the tie. But he doesn't need it to like this. No, exactly. Tie. That's exactly why he's not wearing one. That's why we should all wear turtlenecks. She's got a cute little bow tie. Why can't we just replace suits with turtlenecks? Because suits aren't always hey, Brass requiring isn't wearing turtleneck. A turtleneck. Nor a tie. But he's not. You know, he's black, so you know that's why. Ah. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Mm, indeed. Mm, buttons. <laughs> uh, mm, yes, mm, yes. Mm. Dr. Zimsky knows the planet. So, what about me? Did I have anything that I didn't expect after having already watched it before? You know what? Yes, the effects hold up. Yeah. I really think they do, you know? Like, how do we know what the core looks like? The movie already points out that we don't actually know. It's a good point. You can put anything you want on the screen, and you can't say be that wrong. it's incorrect. You, you, I we mean, just don't know. there may be one disgruntled flying Dutchman crew member that accidentally got down to the core of the Earth that might be like, excuse yeah. me, it's actually green down there. Oh. And I'm like, fuck. I'm sorry. I didn't write the core. <laughs> Bartek did. I'll tell him straight away. Bartek, an angry flying Dutchman crew member, just said that it's not red, it's green. Okay, it so change okay, that. Okay, but how many stars did he give it? Oh, two and a half. Out Wait of, a moment. Out of what? Out of four. Wait a moment. Roger Ebert, are you that pirate? <laughs> You'll never see me again. <laughs> of course I'm the God pirate. Damn it, Roger. I was on the flying Dutchman. Uh, I'm old. That explains. <laughs> <laughs> That's yours, how kids. you know it's Roger Ebert. <laughs> 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 up yours dude up yours dude <laughs> this is skateboarder Roger Ebert uh, this is skateboard Roger Ebert where Roger Ebert rides a skateboard that... flips you the bird and is like off on my judgment you I go you cannot tell me that you would not pay money to watch that I am that I would always you, 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 <laughs> you clearly haven't listened to our nothing but trouble episode hey oh. we have talked about the Ebert before but we have not talked about montages oh, hey. in a while Check out I that. Oh. love that they could build one of the most complex devices within what is what 20 hours? Uh, I thought it was like a week. Well, Ryan, this film... No, 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 wait, it was like... Ryan, how do you know that? They haven't said 20 hours later or anything like that. Didn't they say it was a week? That was their time frame or something? Yeah. It didn't say one week later. You're right, but they're still building it right now. You know what? It didn't have like a splash screen with like a time duration, like one week later. So, you know what? It could have just been in five minutes. You're right. Because the, the, you know what? The, the, The montage, that was one or two minutes it has to be that long. You know, there's no explanation as to I'm really how it couldn't af- just be one I'm, I'm really afraid of what happens if they drilled a hole from the sea, which they do do, and the water follows them? What happens if they, like, flooded the core of the Earth, Oliver? Then it would let all the gravity out, and then we would all float away. Is that what happens? That's, yeah, the gra- see, the gravity, right. The gravity is contained within the center of the Earth, right? That's how, is that where it is? Yeah. No, that's that's where oh, all the gravity is, right? I thought it was in my hometown. No, 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 no. Okay. No. You're, thinking of, you're thinking of gravity falls in that sense. Oh, no, I'm thinking but, of pedophiles going. Yeah. Yeah. I'll think of gravity rush. <laughs> <laughs> We all thought different things. <laughs> some of us thought TV Guys. shows, some of us thought child molesters. Go you on. Know what? I, I thought a video thought game, but okay. Well, if you yeah. drill into the earth, it lets all the gravity out and everyone just floats away from it. Really? I think, I think I saw something by Neil deGrasse Tyson, who, by the way, is the least fun to watch oh, a movie with. Oh my god. He's he, he has this thing where he said, if the core of the earth stops spinning, we would all die because 
just gravity, right? And he That's, was just like, but we don't have pacemakers. But then no, no, he was like, we would all die because we would <coughs> just like slam, like you're like it stopped spinning, but we would just go whoosh, well, yeah, okay, like be propelled in, and just smack into things and that's, die. That's how inertia works because the Earth is spinning at around a thousand. They never mention inertia so does that in mean, this. Does that mean that we'll be rolling a lot? But here's like the thing Sonic? that people get wrong here's, with this okay. movie: it hasn't stopped spinning it's just not spinning the way Ooh. it should be look he's hacking the internet the net please it's oh, now oh, the I'm web so, by sorry. the way my kung fu is strong he is strong is that from something it is from karate kid is it though this is two movies in a row with karate kid references this is a karate kid movie did you not see it it has hillary swank in it can i rant about the new karate kid for a no <laughs> you can rant about the next karate kid <laughs> we can rant about will smith just being too good. We can rant about a robo errors. What? I mean, hmm? what did you say about it? I said we can rant about a robo errors. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Adrian Brody Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> I love a Adrian Brody Ellis. Not as good as a Tucci Brody Ellis. Oh, it's, it's a different the kind it's... of Brody Ellis. No, that's on the other side of the planet. There's a, a, yeah, there's one in the Brody south yeah, and there's one yeah, in the that's, north. That's how and, it works. and the one in the center is just for dorks. <laughs> did you see the subtitle that was for the Look, zero? Guys. Not a note. No, laughing. It's a look, yeah, the look was with a it's L zero. Okay. Hey, look, subtitles on these movies don't have to abide by science faction. For the twenty second time in a row, everyone on Earth is dead. Now, this movie deals a lot in science, Sci-ence, like we yeah. mentioned, like ants from what Harry Potter. You know, you yeah. know this. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Ends from Harry Potter? I like how <laughs> yeah. he said yes. He was like, yeah, I agree with that Harry, statement, Harry, right? Harry, Harry you... Potter, Lord of the Rings, it's all the same. I wish I had magic as good as you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass, Voldemort. Get the tree monsters, Harry. Get the ends. The ends of the tree monsters, yeah? Take the one ring. The ends of the tree monsters. Take the one yes. ring, Ron. There you go. Ron. It's, Ron! It's like a cat scan at a hospital. Except. Is it? Have you ever been cat scanned? I've not been cat scanned. Bartek? No. M- meow. <laughs> Funny joke. Okay, you're dead to me. So, mm. have you had an x ray before? I had an yes. x ray. Yeah, recently. I've had an MRI as well. Yeah. Wow, I've just never been to a hospital, so I'm fine. Can't mm. okay. you not have a. No, I just am a good boy. Yeah. Uh, I'm just not sick boy. I'm sick, not, boy. I'm not sick, sick boy. Sick boy. Yeah, you are. You have your sick in the brain. That's why you had right. an MRI. No, right. I just, you just, you just went w over this. I had Ryan. an X-ray and an MRI because well, it wasn't an MRI. It was just an X-ray because I <laughs> drank too much coffee in the morning and I start my heart started hurting and I thought I had a heart condition and I just see what happened with me. Did you drink more coffee to restart your heart? You know what? It would. No, I should have. Did you drop 140 megaton ton bombs onto your heart to restart it? I haven't tried it, but that might work. Now, here's the tip. Don't drop ripples. it all in one place. Yeah. Yeah, drop okay. it at several different places so there's a ripple effect. Yeah. It's the uh, exponential growth oh, of the moon. The- that's where that's where that's where that's where peaches aren't from. <laughs> that's where rabbits are. Damn. Cheese is there, which yeah. is also brought up in the film as being possibly oh, the, at the centre of the earth. See, this part of the movie in my version was literally just Aaron Eckhart's face with no sky <laughs> because it was so so dead. <laughs> you didn't see a red, red, red. He's like, wow, look at no, that. No, that I'm wasn't like, Adrian yeah. Brody Alice. That was a new one. Do you see not? Did you see it was in Polish colours? <coughs> Were they green there? No, they were mm. red and white. Mm. Well, Polish guys is white and red. Uh, you know, it could be the other way around. It depends what part of the Borealis you're standing in. Yeah. The Poly Borealis. Poly Borero. Warsaw Borealis. Warsaw No. No, do not speak Polish at me. I'm trying to see Triple why Ashley. the computer's showing it to look like pre PlayStation 1 game effects. It's pretty amazing. Well, we can MSX1, am I right? Fuck, I hate when I have to grab my hair in frustration about I being know. a woman in a man's man's world. In a man's man's world. I'm even though, I have, a, even though I have a manly mank. haircut. <laughs> Hillary's mank. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why Hillary's, <laughs> Hillary's crank. Oh dear. Is this the new like god. Kanye West thing? What was the old Kanye West? Well, you know, like Kanye rests, Kanye vests. Kanye oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hillary wanks, mm, Hillary banks, Hillary manks. She's naughty, you give her a Hillary spanks. 
Okay, that's a, that's upsetting. That's that's so against feminism. How that is you? not the next hey, karate kid. Hey man, she can spank me right back. Okay? She's a, she's a cool. million dollar baby. She's gonna bite her own tongue off and die before she lets she's you spank like a, her. She's like a ninety nine thousand dollar baby. Man. Whoa, that Honestly. is so. She's a two time Oscar winning actress. What are you, ah, sunshine? You know what? I... Oh. <laughs> You're not the moon. Well, I know two guys named Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've watched a movie called Oscar, so that makes us equally as good. And we talked about Hillary Swank there. In that movie, too. So she's the three time Oscar. She's winner. not in the movie, but we talked about it. <laughs> so. But I you... want Vine. I need Vine. Vine. I wonder who's saying that. Could it be the one French Is it the I German like how guy? your French guy had V's for W's, is even Van... though the French do not do that. Is that right, Bajek? Wait, is he French? Um, He's French. I thought it was German. Are you He's from... French. I thought it was German. Remember his wife's in Paris. Are you actually kidding? No, I thought he was German. Because his name no. was Serge? You're actually kidding, right? Like the character. I thought he was German. No, he's no, French. You're, you're... What? I thought he was German. They talk about cheese, of course. This he's is French. a man. Are you who... kidding? Oh. oh my god, I made that joke. I'm this like... is a man who watched the film Your Highness and didn't realize it was going to be set in the medieval ages. Of Are you... course. What? <laughs> or realized this pot pun humor name. I didn't realize it was a stoner comedy. Look at this. I mean, I didn't know walking in. That's what you know I mean. what happens when you're in Rome. When in Rome. This is exactly what happens when you're in Rome. Yeah, that's the end of the, that phrase. When in Rome, get static shocked by random implements. And when in Rome, get landmarks exploded by EM. When in Rome, die. When in Rome, put your thumb in their coffee. I just yeah. saw that, mister. When Don't think I didn't kid. see that. When in Rome, just <coughs> go home. Mm-hmm. When in Rome, have a cat on the ground. <laughs> that's my favourite one. That's that's my favourite. Can I can I have a cat on the ground if I'm not in Rome? Is that... No, only only when in Rome. Oh. In every other do in as any the other... Romans do. I gotta admit, this is pretty good. Like all jokes aside, oh, I didn't mind this. I wonder what the Pope's feeling about this. Probably nothing much. He's the Pope. What do you mean? He was in the Vatican. The Vatican's in Rome, isn't it? it didn't blow up. Well, technically, the Vatican Ryan, is the its Vatican own, is yeah, its own, its own thing, but I it know. is very close to Rome. Yeah, it's pretty much in... Yeah, I know it's its own thing. It's its own country, I've isn't it? I've played Assassin's Creed. Do you know the uh, Vatican is technically less than a mile, like, squared? So, technically, the Vatican has 1.2... It's okay. Mile. It has its own army, so... Yeah. <laughs> and they look great. Have you seen the Vatican army? They're yeah, I've seen, stupid. Euro, I've seen Eurotrip. <laughs> I have seen Eurotrip. I how, know my Vatican army. This is how electricity works, by the way. Is it? Because these aren't metal things. <laughs> No, it's it is because Stanley Tucci conducts it. That's really weird because then Pokemon Rock is immune to lightning. Mm. I mean electricity. Yeah. Well, here's the thing though, but is it immune to fire? Uh, no, it's just There resist- you go, I nailed this. It. Yeah, but only for a little bit. Mm. I wonder what's happening in a str- You know what I love about natural disaster movies? Australia, Australia always- is always fine if you're in like the yeah. Northern Territory or that, South Australia. That was also part of uh, A Day After Tomorrow. They showed all, like their giant world map of the. And it's like, Australia's just suffering monsoons. Yeah, yeah, it's like, much. that's pretty piss poor in comparison yeah, no, it's, to everything it's, it's else. Like, wasn't, what, Austra- rain and- <laughs> wasn't Australia also fine in 1984? Yeah, uh, Australia's fine in every. Th- well, in the year 1984, no, yeah, I, we were fine, but the like, story, like we don't really know for sure because, like, the inf- control of information. Yeah. I personally love Australia's fine in everything, including that great animated video online where it was about every it's country the end of new. The world. Yeah, it's the end of the world, and yes. Australia's just there, like WTF. Yeah. Classic Australian yeah. joke there. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost the summer in the Pacific. Well, WTF, yeah, the world mate. is inside out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? It was double GF mate, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mate, of course. I say mate, you say mate, you want a mate, buddy? Well, I say Marte. It doesn't really make sense that the seasons would change because, you know, the rotation of the Earth and its distance from certain parts of the sun. But you no, what? never mind. No, they explain the rotations, mister. The they said the North Pole and the South Pole, remember? The, but they're both cool. Who cares if they're flipped? <laughs> they're both cool! Did they mention Santa? <laughs> They did mention Santa. Oh, uh, yeah, dude, can you even imagine Christmas in this condition? Well, it would be... It would be Santa it would, can me- deal with it. I Santa can bot will do it. His, his reindeer actually navigate using EM waves, so that's... Well, no, no, they navigate using Rudolph's red nose. That's bullshit, it's EM waves, we all it's know. Rudolph's it's Rudolph's red nose. No, it's a conspiracy. It's it, a conspiracy. It is, it is, it's obvious. Um, How else would they do Are it? reindeer birds? <laughs> I mean... Oh, do we know they're not birds? How many animals operate on electromagnetic fields other than birds? I can think of one. Is it us? It's birds. 
Huh. I said other than birds. Oh, I didn't hear that. Does Pikachu? <laughs> I love. It's like other than birds. What? What? I can think of one. What? Birds. <laughs> Thanks. Avians. Uh, I was going to say birds. Oh, he said it in a different way. That's clearly uh, a different different way of no, doing it. B apostrophe birds. <laughs> well, I was saying birds. I was saying birds. Now, the French character Bartek is French. Uh, <coughs> wow. And he's a German character. Did you also know that he has a wife and kids? Oh my God. I did. Now, hold on to that. <laughs> 3.5 PSI. Could you all just What's remember a PSI? also? Pounds per square inch. <gasps> what? Shouldn't we PPSI? You weren't expecting me to answer that way. <laughs> no, I, really, I was really shocked that that's what it stands for. Now, we've got to remember, his wife and two kids, that's three people. Ah, 3.5. Oh, my God. That's what they mentioned before. I the said movie. three. They said 3.5. His mean, wife's pregnant. There's, a, there's an error. <gasps> oh, my God. His wife's pregnant dun, with dun, someone dun. else's kid because well, he's been too busy PSI. on this project. Is the mailman handsome? <laughs> Well, I don't know where Stanley Tucci was during the events. <laughs> oh, my God. Because he's a bit of a pussy slayer. He is a bit. You know when they say about Stanley Tucci, don't let him near your pussy because oh. he's going to slay it. They do say that. Don't they let do him near your Tucci. <laughs> That's exactly where where we were going to go with that. He and you went in. straight there, Bartek. And I'm proud. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Tucci. He makes it his Tucci Coochie. I thought you were going to say you make, he makes it his responsibility. Which so what he's you, very responsible. So I, I still don't get what you guys was talking about when you said the uh, innuendo imagery thing. Uh, because it's a giant shaft <laughs> going no, into a chasm a, yeah, that's a vagina. It makes a shaft. It penetrates its way. It penetrates its way through the crust, which is you know the vulva. It's got. And, it's <laughs> and if we learn anything from your highness, it stabs through the vagina out to the arse <laughs> outside and kills the planet. <laughs> I mean, woman. Uh, the film Your Highness demonstrates that's what sex is like. So on, on this paper. film's doing the same. Where this film's saying we're shoving our penis into the core, yeah. which is you know the uterus, yeah, and exploding it to start life. We're dropping a load, man. but rather so than doing load. a poo in there. But rather yeah. than well, obviously, but rather than dropping the load, they just take it straight that's, to the egg. That's how babies are made. You you poo in her vagina. Does she not? Does she not look like Jean Grey in this particular shot? A little. It's maybe because they're in a, like, you get an X-Men how 50% of those movies take place in cockpits. Yeah. For no apparent reason. Like, like it's like, you know your X-Men movie? You know, like how it's always outside in the city fighting mutants? Let's do 50% of it in a cockpit with leather outfits. There you go. Nothing says fun in the summertime like leather outfits. Yeah. See, I thought she looked a bit more like the girl from the next Karate Kid. Guys, guys, the whales. Now, this is foreshadowing, <laughs> saying, save the whales. Save the whales. Save the whales. I, really wish Mark, with whales well. I really wish Mark Wahlberg was in this movie to be like, guys... The whales. Not just any Mark Wahlberg, but the, the happening, happening, the happening Mark Wahlberg. That's only the it's only what? Mark Wahlberg. Unfortunately, no. no. The best part of the <laughs> happening is at the start where it's like, guys, we gotta save the bees. Unfortunately, guys, though, listen to me about the bees. We do actually have to save. Unfortunately, in this movie, that's Fuck the bees. that's not happening. We gotta save the fucking whales. That's right, Bartek. All of us leading in, be like, no, no, we seriously have no, to actually, just save. We, Fuck we, we bees. Really actually have to- Fuck bees. Do we save the whales? You know what I like about you know what I don't like about bees? They sting you. Fuck that. Let's kill bees. I'm gonna go out today, find a bee, and just be like, here's some news for you. I'm not gonna put on a uh, put a ring on a Beyonce and then smack a bee to death. Don't you like honey ring? Oh, I like honey, but not as much as everybody else. So everyone else has to get on my boat and just live without it. We can make our own honey. We don't need bees. Well, Ryan, not everyone's going to get on your boat. That's right. We we don't need bees to make honey because we can make the core. That's proving how good we are as a species. That's true. Now, can you please explain to me, someone, why they um, drill into the the earth? To get to the core. Why does the hole fill in? Because it'll shut up. Because it'll be full. <laughs> <laughs> because Ryan, if it doesn't fill in, it, they'll flood the core of the earth. That's what I said. But like, why does it fill in here? Did you notice this? It's yeah, like, yeah. It's so that it's it doesn't like, flood. Yeah, but why? Like, because why does the earth do floods. that? But why does the earth the do that? It doesn't so want water. There's so much pressure. Yeah. On the shaft. 
that um <laughs> no need to ejaculate when you say shaft it's okay you could say think of it no as eject. oh you could think of it as the music soundtrack by Quincy Jones shaft <laughs> And also the lesser known black superhero. You well, no, are damn right. He's not lesser known. Everyone knows Shaft. Are you talking about Shaft? Steel? Who's no. the man? Shaft. So Shaft you were please. saying you love Shaft. I mean, and you want it in your mouth because you love Shaft. If you're talking about my mouth as in the core. Was, and... that, was that a South Park reference? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you. So you were saying pressure in the Shaft. I mean, there's so much, you know, pressure just down there. It's just all like... Same thing with a dick, right? You know... Yeah, same thing with a dick. Same thing with a dick. If you, you squeeze in, the knob, it hurts. It does. If you stick your Can nail in that little creasy bit where the ejaculate comes out... The urethra? It really hurts. That is the thing. It that really No, that's a, that's a fetish. That's a thing that hurts. It's a fetish. I think they use pencils. Don't kink so shame. I'm not kink shaming. I'm bringing to light the pain. What's it called again? There's a, th- there's a term for it's it. It's called Oliver. Urethral <laughs> insertion. Yeah, there's a term for it. Oh, that. I'm glad that you know urethral insertion. We just no, like this. It oh, it's a... called the core. So ah, yeah. It's called coring an apple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the apple tested better. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the Apple Fest did better with Latino audiences. Oh, okay. We but did I, a movie called The Avengers in which it was all in English and they showed it to non-English speaking Spanish people yeah. and they all tested it negatively so oh they made God. it less coherent for them to understand that's and that's true. the movie we got. Why? Yeah, and oh I'm talking about God. the Joss Whedon one, of course. <laughs> this is So, little... see this. Why does, yeah, it, fills why does it fill in? So, pressure. Is it because... Because, what? because sand... Yeah, because there's already pressure, like, in the ground, right? Yeah. No, it couldn't be sand, right? Because it'll turn to glass. If you have a like hollow that. shaft... Oh, but wait, does Sonic turn into <coughs> glass? Also, do you like how there was already a shaft here? <laughs> so that we could see it shoot by? Yeah. yeah what? Well, they have to put the camera wait, wait. somewhere. Well, you know what happened? This is the second endeavour into the core of the this Earth. Is the That's what? evidence from the previous expedition. I couldn't actually see this in my fashion. <laughs> well, well in, here's what happens... They're flying, uh, flying, yeah. and uh, they're almost in the crust. Also, of, they're almost out of the crust. How are they receiving a signal? Like, well, it's... Well, I can't receive a signal in a fucking parking Yeah, structure. but they're military. <laughs> because fuck you. They're better than you. They're military. <laughs> the military always have better technology to you. Well, do you think the military has the same level amount, uh, same amount of reception ability as your fucking iPhone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 you're what right, if, you're what right. If one Especially of the, the Australian no, Army. Or are they operating on Tucci waves? Which are They're a, operating a on unique, the Tucci waves. Y- the same kind of waves that keep that hair on his head. Frequency, you know, that, you know, it makes sense. What if one of the people in that big room, just like in the background, you notice is actually an alien? And that like, <laughs> and that like explains everything. Like, oh, look, there's an alien. That means they have technology that we don't understand. Mm. I just want to really point out that the general has really nice blue eyes. Which general? The mustache. General mustache. Oh, the dad of himself. The dad of himself. The general? The only one that's a general in this movie that we've met? I don't know their ranks. Excuse me, you know a general when you see one. Not the German. Not the German, the general. The general. Uh, Not the German. The general. I was too busy looking at it. So, let's have a look out for eyes of a beautiful, beautiful blue-eyed man, okay? I mean... Mm, Me? Where are they right now? Are they in the womb? Is yeah. that sperm going yeah. by? Or is they in love? Or, or is they in you know, love? All, all that sperm that just hangs out in the womb. Yeah, it's <laughs> geosperm. Well, Duh. if you have sex with a fucking whore, there's going to be plenty of sperm up there, mate. Yeah. The earth is a whore. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it true that the core is the size of Mars? They say that at one they point. They say that. Is it? Now, is it? Well, they don't know for okay. a fact, do they? They're like, it's like the size of Mars. I thought Mars, I know it's small, but I didn't think it was like that small. I mean, it's pretty small. It's a lot smaller. Than they... But like the core, that's pretty like... I think it's more like, actually, I don't know the whether how like accurate that is. I could probably look it up. Honestly. Well, the movie said it's true, so it's true that I, I, uh, and there's a French man smiling, so yeah, nailing, nailing this. We're hacking the planet, guys. Who's the French guy? Um, Aaron Eckhart. Didn't uh, you see his blonde hair, blue eyes? That speaks French, 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 especially after World War Two. I know Aryan features <laughs> French. <laughs> yeah, well, guys, twelve hours just passed. But oh. what happened in those twelve hours? Did Bruce Greenwood get even sexier? Ooh. Yes, he did. I like this part actually. I like, yeah, I like how he, he, I did like the fact that his sensor wasn't, 
programmed ready, to programmed read to read nothing. Empty space. Which seems kind of stupid, but at the same time, I understand why he yeah. wouldn't put it in because it's like we're digging through solid matter. Yeah. Like you think, oh, after we get through the mantle, we wouldn't have hollow ground to mm. fall into, but that's where the Earth said, "You're wrong, Aaron." We're going to show you how wrong you are. The yeah. earth is not milk chocolate. It's bubble chocolate. Uh, mm. What's static? It's nothing. So why can't they drill through diamonds? We didn't... Wait, what? Don't you know about the old or, scale? Or crystals or whatever. Why can't they drill through them? Because otherwise the plot... Because... No, why? Like, why can't they because, drill through them? Well, the Frenchman has kids and all. Oh, the French man has kids and a yeah. wife that day. <laughs> <laughs> and she really likes crystals. Now, yeah. this movie is obviously there, like in every natural <coughs> disaster movie, for the death scenes. We're going to encounter a real first death scene uh, in this sequence. And I will be honest, when I remembered watching this movie, there's only two deaths that stood out in my mind. The first one really stood out in my mind because I actually thought it was kind of like a, a little really interesting death. I yeah. thought it was really smart i thought like yeah there's things uh you know i'm, I'm just gonna get into it mm. the the captain of this uh this ship has like what a rock just fall or something yeah, or, he gets, or, um, or a crystal or actually I, I, I a shard of something i didn't see that one my uh my my <laughs> yeah it, no, i well, just my version didn't was no my version was him like a literally a close-up of his bleeding nose or eye or whatever oh all right well, <laughs> like, well oh, okay that's it was actually shot pretty well it's done really well where i think it's like a rock or at least a shard of uh, of diamond it was a crystal falling or bit of debris well, debris probably, yeah. just pierces through his helmet straight into his head like you don't see it hit his yeah, like he reacts and then a few seconds later blood uh-huh. and then falls over and i'm like i thought that was really memorable death because in a big natural disaster Movie, they always make it like big deaths where yeah, it's it like, wasn't grand. oh no, I'm stuck in a lava pit, no, and I'm still screaming even though my chest is covered with yeah, lava. I was ah! say. But in this, it's like, bam, dead, and then just, oh, oh, he's dead. That's that's upsetting. Yeah. Serge, are you all right? Yes, I am French. I am he's silly, so German. he didn't say le French, so I actually don't know. So he's I, German. He I must am, be. You're right. I'm French. Le French. Yeah, but we've got I'm six... The, I'm the French. We've got six crew members, and <sighs> spoiler alert, four of them end up dying. And I feel like all of the deaths Dude, were... Spoilers. Spoiler! Jesus. I can't wait to watch the movie where it's only the black guy and Surge left. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait either. Can you imagine Stanley Tucci and the black guy just, you know, they're like, well, we got to... Well, we gotta I, his name is Brown. Am I the only one who thought that Stanley Tucci and the black guy used to be former lovers and then they had a squabble and now they're I mean, really pissy well, at each I mean, other? Well, we don't know that didn't happen. Well, they did have... Well, like, Tucci. I mean, he goes both ways. Well, don't they have a thing of, like, 20 years ago... He goes to... And Tucci <laughs> stole his research or something? Yes, apparently yes. Tucci, the Tucci stole his research. He's known for doing that. But the black guy, you know, he still loves him. You know, mm. he's saying... Hey Tucci, I'm angry at you, but I've still got I've still got your panties, and I like to wear them every now and then, you know. And he's like, "You care that much?" Mm. Also, his name is Braz. Yeah, black guy. I said this. Yeah. Yeah. So the black guy yeah. with the glasses. Might I add, I love that at no point did the glasses really get damaged, except for his climactic moment. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. You know, as his uh, finish. You wear glasses, uh, no, Peter. No, I don't. Uh, He's talking to Peter. Have you damaged? I do. Have you damaged them ever? Oh, have you I ever? Have, have you broke a pair of glasses before? You know what? I've I've totally like scratched them, but I've never actually shattered them. Oh my god! You want me to do it now on the show? I would hate you. <laughs> Just smack I hate you, you like, more than I already do. Wow, that's unfair to me because I'm quite likable. I've been told by very many people that I am approachable. You've been lied to by many and people. And I'm sexy. <laughs> That's just and not and right. and some people want to say to me, and they do often say to me, "You are the redeeming feature of when Oliver turns up on the show." And I say, "Thank you." And it's really hard I, when that guy comes on. I actually think sometimes he's Peter, been... sometimes oh he's Jennifer, sometimes Bartek's involved. You know. And hey guys, then... what's going on? Sorry, I was. Oh, I was hi, was Peter. What's, what's going on? So, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's Jennifer. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here too, Your boys. American alter egos. I am here too, boys. So <laughs> who was that? That was me. 
That was Ryan's alter ego, Zach. <laughs> I love the crystals Jack! in this scene. I really do too, because it's like, ooh, is that all? I like that. Oh look, we're there in a Geo dude. They're my ref- favorite Pokemon. They're reflecting light from non-existent light sources. It's great. What do you mean? Well, the light's shining in one direction, yet the whole cavern is bright. No, because there's all of them. They're all looking around. So the light's bouncing off each one of them. Have you never seen a Geo dude? I've never seen a Geodude. <laughs> you never, so you never had an arm wrestle with a Geodude? You never uh, had an arm wrestle with a Geodude against a, against a Diglett? I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Have you ever tugged a Diglett out before? You know what? I have done that. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing an arm wrestle match between a Diglett and a Voltorb. Oh. I would rather see an arm wrestle match against a Mr. Mime. <coughs> oh. And um, what's the weird one with the lips? Jinx. 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 Yeah. An arm wrestle between one, those two. She was fucks. originally in like blackface. Oh, it's a she. It, it, are they still not in blackface? I'm used to them no, being they, in blackface. They changed, it, they changed it to purple after the first generation because. Yeah. Oh, I, wow! I'm still on the first generation, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Oh no! Watch out! Oh, this is it. No. Oh, no, it no, no, no. It doesn't happen for I'm quite some time. Right. Now, Aaron Eckhart does something I think is really silly. I prematurely. Aaron reject. Eckhart is the reason why everybody dies in this movie. Uh, here's why. In this sequence here, he selfishly tries to sacrifice himself so that they can drill this thing because they need oxygen or something. Um, I'm not a scientist. And, yeah. and he's like, oh, I'll do it by sticking my oxygen thing in without telling him. So then I run out of oxygen and then die. And then Surge runs out to try and, you know, save him, blah, 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 because I can read the life signs. If he was a proper guy, a proper hero, he would have said to the military man in charge who would have, the astronaut, who would have some idea of how to go about dispensing oxygen in a safe manner, and is a mil- and is the leader of the operation too, my dad. He should have asked. He should have organized with him a um, kind of like a going it in turns, giving oxygen. You know, so that way it's like you're getting faint. Okay, tap out. My go now, and it would have been done. But no, he didn't say anything. And and the poor captain, he's just outside twiddling his thumbs, mm-hmm. looking at the geo dude, thinking, "Am I gonna catch it? Got to catch them all." You do have to catch them all. You are right about that. Every single Geodude. I want nothing but Geodudes. Mm. Mm. And, you know, that's the unfortunate things is keys. Also, you know, where are they? I don't know. I've lost them. Heart rate. So His right. final signs weren't dropping. Instead of the... No, port- they were increasing. Like, oh, no, they're getting more sporadic. Like, yeah. his heart's fluctuating dramatically. That's- right. For this episode, don't put in the Polish music. Just put in the pokey rap. The pokey rap? The pokey rap. The poly rap, you mean? Poly. No, the Pokemon rap. No, the poly wraps for people who have polio. Uh, so oh, no I have pol. Uh, 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 don't forget anti vaxxers They exist. <laughs> I'm so Jesus. sorry. Didn't Jim Carrey's no oh child might have polio. Fucking anti vaxxers Jim Carrey is my hero for how stupid he is in real life. Can I just say though, his emoji game is fucking on point there. Uh, you know whose emoji game's on point? Mm. Aaron Eckhart's. Oh, he's right, he so- only has one emoji. It's Two Face. Uh, it's coming up soon. The death. The death of a hero. No. Bruce died like a man's man. Yeah, right here. Bleeding on his face. <laughs> then dying just in... and then just out. Like, Yeah, I didn't see any. They're dying in some nice gooey cheese. It is cheese. I mean, they're... I, like some nice oh, gooey yeah, yeah, garlic smiling. bread cheese. And then look, yeah. he's, he's like, is. oh, boom. Oh, he, get, he gets smacked. You don't even see it properly hit the helmet. And then they're like... Hey man, are you okay? Do you think they could have saved him? Uh, probably not. Like if they grabbed him and took him in, do you think they could have saved him? Well, they didn't know he. Was... Yeah, but like you know, what I mean, like I'm saying, if they could have, like oh, obviously they didn't know. But you oh, know what I mean? like, oh, you mean like the lava didn't? Sorry, the magma <coughs> didn't kill him. Yeah, isn't like... it kind of implied that the uh the crystal bit went through his head? Yeah, but you know, there was an incident in the um 1800s where a guy. Got like a metal rod yeah, stabbed into his about, brain. Are you talking about Phineas Gage? It was yeah. a railroad spike. Railroad spike. Yes, See, yes. Yeah, it was a metal spike at least. That's a, a rod got yeah. into his brain. He lived. He did, but he not, was a bit of a dick afterwards. He, oh, but yeah. other than that, he, he actually, was seen yeah. pretty all right. He died a little while after, actually. He died fairly young. But he died years after. Yeah. Imagine, but this guy's like. 45, 55 yeah. in that age bracket. If you got to live for another five years after getting a piece of, you know, core metal in your brain, I think that's all right. Dude, he had a Geodude lay some smack down on him. What's a Geodude um, attack? 
a rock throw? He had a rock throw. <laughs> yeah. yeah he got a rock throw yeah. at him by a Geo dude. It critical hit him. Hey, as don't well. you like that the fact they would have been drilling through his body by that Oh point? <laughs> <laughs> So wouldn't it be great if he's stuck on the windshield oh, and they're just like, No! Get the windshield wipers on! I did think and that since he's like, melting, he, just, he would just oh smear God. all over it and, and he'll be like just rubbed against the And window, he's still yeah. alive, some are being like, Help me! And then like he's oh. he's spitting out uh, he's spitting out lava out of his mouth and he's like blah, blah instead of blah. and then he becomes like Obi Wan and just like ghost mm-hmm. follows them. They didn't have a windshield. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they? They could have wiped it with windshield wipers. Uh, yeah, I just told you. You know, they could... that's I mean, genius. Okay. <laughs> I don't see no windshield wipers. So that means there might be one. What would have been even worse is they had that like infrared sort of picture thing which they used. Yes, yeah, 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 the the the, uh, the that, MRI scan yeah, thing. If, yeah, if that showed a skeleton. Yeah, or or mass be... in general, and mm. he's just like, how like the spacesuit would be shown, yeah. and he'd be like, help me, oh, and God. they're like, Saws! Oh. oh, whoa, whoa. Doesn't this guy, doesn't the French guy remind you of another actor? Gerard Depardieu. No, not Jean (laughs) Reno. I'm saying he reminds me of a French Dustin Hoffman. Ah. Like old man Dustin Hoffman, not like young man Dustin Hoffman. Because this this guy's old. You know this guy's old? How old is he? 22. That's pretty old. That's pretty old for the French. That's like... Yeah, you know, the French are pretty, you know, pretty resilient. Not bad for t- having two kids. That's not bad for having Three two kids in France. Kids, isn't it? Three, or two and a half. Well, the wife's pregnant, apparently. Yeah. Two and a half men? Hmm. Men, 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 men. Okay, we can't afford the copyright men, to men. Charlie Sheen's cocaine habits, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a habit. What, what about the last few seasons, though, Ryan? Oh, Ashley Kutcher's cocaine habit? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I there forgot. you go. Did anyone actually watch any of that? Uh, yeah. Ashley Kutcher. Oh, the yeah. new seasons? I didn't, no. Ashley uh, Kutcher pulled a Shia LaBeouf and just watched every episode he was in? Yeah, in reverse chronological order, Ooh. like Shia LaBeouf did. So... The French guy is French. Aaron Eckhart's American. Uh, Hilary Swank's American. Everyone's... Uh, I don't know where and Stanley Tucci's guy's from. Uh, I don't know. Is he American? He's from Mars. He's from oh, Mars. the core, you mean? Tucci, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, Mars is the same size as the core. Oh, yeah. Now, are you guys upset that we will never know what the core of the Earth actually looks like? Not really. Which, the, the inner core? Yeah, or the outer. They still isn't it that they, they don't really know either because you haven't seen it because they haven't got that far, man. Yeah, but like, are you upset by that? You'll never know in your in your life. I mean, how do we know that we won't know in our life? Because come on, man, we're not gonna get to fucking Mars while we're still alive at this point. You don't know that, Elon Musk. I'll won't. be dead by then, son. Elon Musk says we'll make it. Oh, Elon, Elon Musk can musk off. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> surely. A cool guy. Elon Musk made rockets so that they could be like in sci-fi movies where rockets land yeah, themselves. Yeah, exactly. Because he likes sci-fi movies. I'm like, that's effective. But it's guys, also like really, really, really efficient. I know. His name's Elon. Something like 90% <laughs> of the cost of like rocket travel is by, you know, making a new rocket each time and he's cut but that down. guys, look, all this talk of Mars and the cores, surely you'd look at it for a few seconds and then find it kind of boring. Yeah, right. I just look at I look at space and I think, what's the point when the Earth's flat? Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean the Earth is like this floating piece of paper? Well, the Earth's the only one flat in the universe. We're also the center of it, in case you didn't know. Mm. And I look at Mars and I go, I don't want to go to that bowl over there. Like, I only want to live on flat surfaces. Yeah. I like blue and green. <laughs> I like uh. I like blue. Do you like blue? Mars doesn't look blue. What's the color of sky in Mars? The color of sky in Mars. On Mars. Yeah, it's because it's different. You have to repeat the question, just answer Yeah, because it would be different, yeah? (coughs) Because the oxygens and whatevers and light. Does Mars have a proper atmosphere? No. I'm not actually sure. You guys clearly haven't seen The Martian. I'm a fucking idiot. I haven't seen Matt Damon. Oh, my. You haven't seen... I mean, no, but like, is it like brown? I guess in the Martian it was brown, the sky, or like a whitey, red, red, yeah, ashy red. red, Yeah, uh, I mean, I've seen pictures of uh, pictures of Curiosity. I've seen Mars. I I look at it. I say red. It's red. Okay. We're dodging time. I think I've been to Mars. Wouldn't it be great if you went to Mars and the color of the sky was actually like yellow? That'd be a real kind of, I don't know, weird. 
Like, because you've seen pictures of it, haven't you? What, Mars? Yeah. I have seen Mars. I've not seen pictures of the sky on Mars. Well, surely are the pictures that you saw of Mars included the sky. I mean, the planetary pictures? That is red. No, I mean, like, from the rovers and stuff. Oh, I don't know if I've seen that. Really? I don't pay attention to fucking Mars. I'm on Earth. I'm worrying about the problems that I've got in my everyday life. It's hard enough to tie my shoes together, let alone be like, gotta catch up on Mars. I hope that's doing all right. I'm watching The Core, mate. This movie is fundamentally about Earth. Do you have problems tying your shoes? Everyone has problems tying their shoes when the core of the Earth stops spitting, See, son. Oliver, Ryan... <laughs> the only reason we're able to tie our Ryan, shoes is because of the core of Ryan the Ryan can is only tie ties. I can tie ties, but I can't have Tata, you know? Oh. Now, this is really important. Our hero, Sir, a Frenchman, has to... The weapons expert has to make sure that he gets all the weapons stuff for them to have. But more importantly, he has to get his daughter's little notebook that has some of his notes in there that they will never use he in the movie again. He, he could have literally survived if he left that. That's the thing. So, Ryan, earlier you said that <coughs> everyone dies because of Alan Eckhart. Because, this is Aaron know, Eckhart's fault, yeah. Be, because it's like a chain reaction. Would that not also apply to his daughter? Yeah. Who drew the pictures? Yeah. If she just didn't draw well, those pictures... Well, that's why Aaron Eckhart is give... the father of that daughter. It's his mm-hmm. fault. If she just didn't draw those pictures, this wouldn't have happened. He's crying and he's sad because now he has to be Alan Mooney. Oh. That's why he's annoyed. I like the. I really did like this emotional moment here of Aaron Eckhart being really annoyed at Hilary Swank for making such a decision, and you think it's like an unforgivable thing, but then like one scene later, you see they're like, "Where is he?" Yeah. He comes back, no more tears. He's like, "I'm good now." Yeah. It's like you got to get I've over it. Wouldn't want any of that emotional. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I've earned my Oscar. Yeah, like, <laughs> but like, I love Stanley Tucci being like the reasonable one. That's his. That's his character flaw. He's mm. coldly logical, but that's fair. But here's the real crux of the issue. Why doesn't she just communicate that she's not going to do it? Like, there's building this false sense of hope. Mm. You know. What if she doesn't? She's just like no. Uh, now, Bartek, do you often get hugged to death by metal? Um, Ryan. That's my name. Thing is, when you die, you can't really come back. Yeah, but like, do you like? Are you saying you, you you only live once? Are uh, you saying, saying yo yo yolo? That you know, that's a tattoo that Z- that Zach Efron has. Are you fucking kidding? Well, me? Well, Ryan, <laughs> you are no, you're not serious. Are you? That's one of my favorite things. You're not serious. Every time I'm he's little, German, okay. If I'm ever upset, I think about Zach Efron having a tattoo that has YOLO on it. I'm oh, like, yay! Oh my god, what a tw- no, not yay. Wait, wait, where is it? Because like he was in Baywatch recently. Wasn't oh it? yeah, but do you see any of his tattoos in Baywatch? Don't. Oh, I don't know. Makeup exists. You know this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Baywatch, he jerks a cadaver off. I mean, what a classy film. Excuse me, really? Yeah, you have to watch Baywatch. How do you... Uh, what? How do I know this? There's a five-minute sequence in the Bay- new Baywatch movie where a guy gets his dick suck- stuck in a sun chair. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's comedy. That is comedy. This is comedy. No, it's a drama. <laughs> Everyone is crying. <laughs> it's hilarious. What do you mean? They're crying happy tears. Now the German's gone. Now they can hang out He's with the French guy. He goes, Please. I'm in tears. Oh, I, he must have heard a good joke. Um, Stanley Tucci's not crying. So I guess he's alright. But look at this. Look at this. All these notes, the they ma- never use them. Uh, you, well, they use this one to show Hilary Swank. Like, look at this. Look at this. And then she grabs it and never gives it back, I don't think. I'm pretty sure she never gives it back yeah. to them. She's like, I'm going to masturbate over this tonight when I think about how they don't have a dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these kids we've literally never we seen. know that she's the sociopath. She walks in, she sees his, uh, she sees Sergei's wife, and she's like, I'll be the show. Well, isn't that the whole selling point? It was it? Serge. <laughs> oh. Not Ser- Sergei. Ser- Sergei. 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 That's so happy in French. <laughs> Is it? Uh-huh. I spoke French once. Oh. I am so gay. In my high school, we did French for our language class, and um, what a ladork you! Are. We had a teacher. Her name was Mrs. Couch. Mrs. Couch. That was her name. Oh we called God. her. We had to call her Madame Couch. Ah. And um, I spoke French really well, apparently, because I took the piss out of it, uh. and I would emphasize the accent, and apparently that was really good. Oh and my God, we, really? And I got first in French in our entire year, oh and I was gosh. told by my teacher madame cooch that i should really keep up with french 
And I'm like, sure. And then she retired, and then my school discontinued the language unit for four years. Oh. So. <laughs> Wait, what year was that that you did that? Year eight. Oh, that's brutal. Because that, that's actually a good subject for VCE. Uh, it's like, uh, it's scalable. Uh, well, he didn't do VCE. I am you... from New South Wales oh, well, yeah. in Australia, where we have to do, instead of like what Americans have or whatever, we have a nice one called the HSC, which I love, stands for Higher School Certificate. So it's like, you just passed high school, mate. Good job. Well, in the state that we're currently recording this, Victoria, it's like Victorian Certificate of Education. It's like, you've only passed a Victoria, mate, like, mm. and all of education, by the way. Like, you've done it all. Like, you don't have anything higher to do. Yeah. So look at his blue eyes. Stunning. Uh, it's like, you know what those eyes remind me of? The, the ocean. Yeah. And you know what the ocean is on? Earth. And you know what Earth has? A core. You're not wrong. All of those things are correct. It's been 35 hours in. And 1900 miles. Really long time. Well, it's almost a day. <laughs> yeah. It's it's halfway through a Majora's Mask cycle, Oliver. You know, at no uh, point do we see them eat food. <laughs> in that's, this. A, that's actually a good point. And this, do they pack any? Because well, you know they said the, the the pods eject with their damage, including living quarters. Well, right. Yeah. What happens if they die from starvation? That's well, you wouldn't die from it's starvation. It's okay, Ryan. They're trained. It's they're what? doing Ramadan. It takes longer than that to die of starvation. But the heat, you'll be sweating out everything. But a lot heat. More. But heat. But heat. You know when your ass is really hot, oh, but nothing else is. Yeah, we call it yeah. swamp ass. Swamp oh. Ass. Yeah, swamp ass. That's the thing. Oh, skip. And it's all like manky, and you don't want to. It's very Hillary Swanky. You're right. Yeah, it is. Especially you, do you reckon you Hillary... a bum? Do you really do you reckon Hillary Swank has swamp ass? No, Hillary Swank is too sophisticated to have swamp ass. She was trained by Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> she was trained by Mr. Miyagi to fight off the core of the earth. The fight of a school. The bully. core of the earth is picking a fight. No, we'll say. Is that. this the core? Uh, I don't know actually. Is this what it looks like? Yes. So this is the outer core. You can tell because of the EM waves. So this is the outer core, yeah? It looked like a really bright uh, version. Now, Bartek said to me that I asked him, was there anything you learnt from this movie? And mm. you said to me what, Bartek? Uh, I think I said that it corrected something that I was misunderstanding. Like I thought the um, I thought the outer core was uh, more solid and the inner core was the liquidy thing. I didn't get that. Bartek said this to me. Ah, you know, it could. It it showed me. All I got was. Oh, it showed me that I was. Uh, I had the inner core and the outer core the wrong way around. I'm like, what? Did you think that it went mantle inner core then outer core? No, That's no, what no, I no, not the, not the no, names. No, no, no. I know that now that you explained it. But when okay. I just got that, I'm like, how did he mistake this? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how. I didn't think that you're like. Oh, of course, the center is liquid and the outside is not. Yeah. Mm. Well. Guys, you have no faith in me, Brian. I have unobtainium in you. Oh. It's a dildo that I shoved in. Unobt- is that what you call your giant black dildo? So if you were unobtainium, so, yeah, because you yeah, can't so obtain that. So if you shoot a dick. laser at me and it disintegrates my entire body, all that would be left is a uh, dildo made of unobtainium. Wow, with a smiley face and is it just on it? like up there, just forever now? Well, it's a part well, of him. Ryan never said he took it out, Oliver. It's a part of him. You know how he he shits now? He so, can't. So now it's like a butt plug, essentially. No. Well, is yeah, it a butt plug or is much, it pretty much or is it his new spine don't, don't even try to question it Ryan it pretty much is a butt is plug. that essentially like a therapy sort of if you have a broken spine you can just replace it with a giant butt plug up the arm well obviously you I've know that's enough. the one thing about the, about the the disabled they want giant butt plugs instead of bones <laughs> I want oh dear <laughs> what have you seen Mr. Hands no but I have seen the core <laughs> that's just as good yeah, I imagine in the you know this this movie has a lot of butt plug references in it. Is the fact that the the core of the earth is the butt, and this is the is this is this the plug? I mean, do we know it's the butt though? Like, could it be the face? Could it be well, the... well, could it be? Uh, could it not be the butt? Like, it and not. it's the butthole of the galaxy. Earth uh, is the butthole <laughs> of the galaxy. Is it though? What about Have you not lived on it? It's pretty shitty. Actually, you got a point about. Look that. how dumb this guy. He didn't even think about Uranus. Yeah. Um, no, no, your anus, your anus is completely different. It's pronounced Uranus, and that's where the urine of the Earth comes out. Uh, Use urine. your fucking butts, sense. Butts and bladder, two different things. And you know what Mars is? A nipple. That actually makes sense. And Venus? No. No, no, no. We're not going to get Venus into this. Mercury is... We need to get Pluto into this. 
Pluto. I, I, let's not get Pluto into this. I fucking love Pluto. Don't Pluto's, you be that fucking guy Pluto's who's like, Pluto's, Pluto's not a planet. Pluto's Shut like, up. Why are you guys talking about dogs? Shut your fucking face. I don't want to hear it. You know what Pluto is? A dog. Pluto is the brain. If Pluto is a dog, then what's well, Brain is a dog from... Well, Goofy's a dog too, that but he also sense. has a dog. No, you need to draw the line Isn't somewhere. Brain the dog from Inspector Gadget? Yes, Brain is the dog Pluto from Inspector Gadget. Pluto and Goofy Gadget. can't both be dogs. Yes, it you can. A dog can have sense. a pet dog. What that... about in, What about in Cars, the film? They have tractors and they're cows, but they're also cars. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? In the film franchise of cars, all cars are sentient and have personalities. But for some reason, all tractors in that movie are mindless cows that moo. But they're also, like, cars with eyes and they're cars. Can you stop, like, blowing my mind for five seconds? What I'm really trying to say is Stanley Tucci's yelling at the moment and it's really important. Every every volcano on the planet will blow. That's that's, that's what they... Look at those eyes. Oh my Oh my god. (laughs) Look at them. Very wide. Kind of grey, actually. No, they're blue. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you come in here saying Pluto's not a planet. I never said you, that. You're coming in here saying she doesn't look like Jean Grey enough for you. I w- You're coming in here saying they're grey eyes. You come in here, all three of you. I have never come in here come with in all here. your differing personalities and yet agree on these wrong things. Hey. hey. But look at Stanley Tucci get redder. <laughs> he is very red, actually. Well, you know why? Why? He is a peach. He's well. He's red and he's well bred. Did you know that? He is well bred. If you look at his penis. <laughs> oh, Have you the, seen a naked Stanley Tucci? Is it made of bread? <laughs> That's the yeast of his worries. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, guys, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Na- hey, hey kids, have you seen a naked t- Stanley Tucci before? I've not. You want to see a naked Stanley Tucci? And then, then I just open up my coat pocket. Do you think if you looked hard enough, you could find a nude picture of Stanley Tucci? I'm really tempted to look up nude Stanley Tucci. Because I think we've just found like something baby to do photos. Oh, yeah, baby photos and then like Victorian era photos. Oh, here it is. Now, this is the moment when Stanley Tucci dies. They're going to show this in his memoriam video as the quintessential moment of his acting career. In which this is the moment in which Zimsky is an arrogant man, sure, and he's a bit um, pompous. But this is a moment in which you have to say he's right. He makes complete sense about this. He does, actually. I believe him. I'm on his side. And then the black guy just has to use violence. <laughs> and violence is never the answer to logic, you right, know? It's right, just... can I ask, have you been to the ghetto before? I have been in the ghetto. I'm from there. You're from the ghetto in New South Wales. I'm from the ghetto, yeah. The Mr. Roboto. <laughs> I'm from the ghetto, Mr. Roboto. That's the song. I'm <coughs> from the ghetto. Mr. So I'm gonna look up naked Stanley Tucci. Have fun being on a list. Uh, being on <laughs> what, what, the, a mailing the, what, a mailing list. The, by go- Stanley the government. Tucci. The government has a list of fun fact. everyone that has googled pictures for naked Stanley Tucci. Oh, well, obviously, and it's, you know who that is. Which government? That's the question. Now, Stanley Tucci is. If I just wrote naked Stanley, who do you think would come up first? Uh, Stanley Ipkiss. How do we spell Tucci again? T U C C I. C C I. That's what I thought. Mm. Tucky. Oh no! I, oh, oh no! Not Tuco. Uh-huh. Tucci. Now we're gonna see what happens when naked Stanley Tucci comes up on the internet. Have you got Stanley Tucci, Tucci nude scenes? Fuck Here we yeah, go. Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Stanley up. Tucci naked photos oh online. Stanley Tucci naked pictures, naked scenes. Oh, there's a YouTube video called Stanley Tucci is so sexy. Oh, and there's another one called Stanley Tucci Cooks Risotto Cakes. Great. That's great. Guys, look, the Golden Gate Bridge. But yeah. wait. Why isn't every one of these movies the Golden Gate well, Bridge guys, fucking collapses? I've got... I went to Google Images to look up Naked Stanley, and it's just him... Fuck, he's buff. <laughs> wait, oh, my what? God. Look how fucking buff. That's not the same guy, dude. <laughs> that's so... literally... That's not the same guy. <laughs> okay, what about this Stanley Tucci? That's pretty fucking buff. That's not buff. He's buffer than you, shortcake. (laughs) (laughs) All of us are black belt, though. Yeah, but we don't know what Stanley Tucci is. Do we know? I mean... Stanley Tucci studied... (coughs) Look, here's a cooking book. Stanley Tucci. Look how fucking buff he is. He made a cookbook? Yeah, don't you know about it? What? He's a cook. 
I like how you ask that as you're looking at the title. I'm, I like you're kidding. I'm literally looking at his cookbook. <laughs> well, the, the picture of the cover, yeah. Oh, well, okay, okay. I'll go buy his cookbook. Guys, explain Hello, guys. Tucci.com. Well, Give me a copy right, of said, the Why would you Lisa? call a website, you <laughs> absolute mongoloid? Is that like when people call wow. fax machines? And whoa, like whoa, whoa, whoa. He just said the M word. <laughs> you know, we've said a lot of offensive things, but wow, Oliver, we you really crossed a line. We were having a nice, innocent, perfectly arousing conversation about, about a naked, naked Stanley, Stanley Tucci, Tucci. Yeah. and you have to come in with insults to the disabled. That's really unfair. All they want it's is not. just to be treated like other people and to have unobtainium dildos for spines. Right, well, you're editing That's the episode. completely unfair of you to say mongoloid. That is just so you disrespectful just, you, 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 you to the Tucci. Too, said Wait, he said yeah, mongoloid? But, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm saying it to e- emphasize your point of being wrong. Apologize to DJ Qualls. I, I'm he's sorry, a mongoloid DJ. because he's never aged. Is his name legally DJ? It's DJ. Are you fucking serious? It's DJ Qualls. Or is it, that just... Oh, it's probably short for something like disco jockey, you know? Like, Dis- disco disc- jockey, <laughs> Brian. Get rid of the O. Jesus. No, I knew what I said. Run. He's been around since the 70s. I he see. invented disco. Right. And he's also Ryan. very... You know, he's in fact six foot two. In this movie, they would make him look six, five foot seven. Destiny sounds better. I set you up, Ryan. I said just remove the O. You could have gotten rid of the O from Chucky. Oh. Uh, cheeky. Okay, well, I'm still looking up nakedtooch.com. Ryan, you have to edit the episode and just cut everything after he says mongoloid. So it abruptly ends there. Yeah, it's like mongoloid yeah. and then nothing. And then and then you hear dramatic music. Dun, dun, dun. Well, Sorry. apparently I'm on a website called The Data Lounge. And one of the things that quickly popped up was Stan- gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Stanley Tucci's nude scenes feature gay porn. Well, here's will, the thing. Well, that that means, means someone else is... Or are they saying... Or are they saying that you are gay if you're checking up on Stanley Tucci <laughs> being naked, which is really unfair to women who all find the Tucci amazing. And it's men find thing. the Tucci amazing too. Well, yeah, obviously. You don't have to be gay. To a... Don't forget, you know, it just... oh my God, an anonymous comment that just wrote, don't forget his munchable muscular butt, <laughs> creamy pale skin, and little perky pink nips. Oh my God. <laughs> God, actually. He wasn't that. just nude, but fluffed at the beginning of Frankie and Johnny. Saw it from the third row. <laughs> These are great. Is he hung? Is he cut or oh uncut? My, stop asking. <laughs> Pink nips? Delicious. Uh, How big were they? Dime, quarter, half dollar? What the, what, <laughs> why do you need to know? Hung like a horse and cut was the answer. What the f- all of us artists need to know. Proportions. Twenty-five cents, and they weren't flatties. More like gumdrops. <laughs> Fucking stop talking about the consistency of Stanley Tucci's nipples. But guys, guys, he cheated on his dying social worker wife with Eddie Falco. Who the fuck is Eddie? Falco? Yeah, he's a real prize. Well, sorry, Tucci, if your nips are that <laughs> good. You are allowed to get away no, with cheating what, on a dying what, wife. What sort of nips are we talking about? Are we talking well, about dying half you know, he shows, five cents? But guys, he shows his whole entire ass in the beginning of that movie starring Parky Posey and Lee Shriver. It's one where the family drives into the city from Long Island to confront his character for cheating on Parker's wife. Road trippers? Like, they don't know. They're just like, could be that. Dumb movie. Hot butt. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's more. Is he the one that they were blind item? Oh, they, they just keep He's asking. He's smoking in the movie, by the way. They're asking if he hired Rent Boys. These are the great rent things. Rent Boys? Uh, no, that was Liam Neeson. That Wait, was what? That. Yeah, yeah, it's like, no, that was Liam, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson hired a Rent Boys? Well, allegedly, you know. What? We haven't seen Tucci's also, nips. A, why don't you explain to me what a Rent Boy is, right? A Rent Boy? Well, um... Nice to meet you. It's a boy that you rent. Yeah. For... Whatever you want. What if I like I'm sitting down, I've just gotten home, I'm tired. You wanna I play chess with someone? I don't wanna get a go, rent boy. I don't wanna go to the kitchen to pick up a glass of milk. I'm just too tired. I hire a rent boy, he comes and he fetches me some milk. Yeah. Oh right. he comes. He said he comes, Ryan. Um, fun question someone on the internet asked about Tucci is would anyone here want to lick his shitter? <laughs> <laughs> you mean toss a salad? Lick his shitter. <laughs> no, Bartek. Lick his shitter. Wait, so his toilet. 
Yep. <laughs> like, like, actually, yes. You know what my favorite way of saying that is? Uh, would anyone want to lick Stanley Tucci's shit? No, would you like to tongue punch his fart box? <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to work in a Tucci in there. Does anyone want to get some of that Tucci on their poochie? That is a really tempting offer, I'm going to be honest. I'm tempted, get like Christ. <laughs> you know, by Mary Magdalene. Just you you want to get nailed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, last time takes off. Oh, talking. nail me like Jesus! I think Ryan's oh. saying that he wants to talk to a lion. What I'm saying is I want Stanley Tucci's hard pink nips to bang in the nails on me on the cross. Of course. With that fine lickable shitter. Did we notice how that rat in this scene is hacking the internet by googling Project Destiny, essentially? How do you start hacking? How do you start hacking? I like how he starts to cry. Like, it gets really yeah. emotional. Like, he's like, oh no, I can't break into the hardest thing to break into in the world! Oh god! Mm. Look at him, he's tearing up. Oscar yes. winning. When DJ Qualls dies in 40 years... The memorial? 40, that's actually pushing wow, it. He's, o- he's yeah. only 20 looking years old. Wait, how, is when, he, how old is he now? Like fucking 50. <laughs> Does he still look 12? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> he looks the exact same. Um, when he dies in four millenniums, I should say, uh, he will take the world with him. I like how she's drinking a power drink. Yeah. That's good to keep the electrolytes up, you know, because that's That's what plants crave. That's what they crave. And also, when you're... Re- I like how she's the only one not sweating because she's keeping hydrated. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? And why, is she, <laughs> why is she the only one not sweating? Because to, I to... just stated, she's the only one keeping hydrated. Did she, she drink electrolytes? Because she's in charge of the controls. Yeah. Can't have someone... Oh, because hydrated. she's only got the air conditioner on for herself. What, what a, a slut. What a bitch. What a slut. Uh, so, I mean, Braz really should have Hey, said. why don't they have an air conditioner in here? It That's seems... kind of what I was getting at before. Like, why are they all sweating? Well, because they're getting... They're in the core. Well, they have they have liquid nitrogen um, cooling the shit. The I love that. Vessels. Why are they sweating? They are in the core. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, concede, I'll concede on that one. I thought it was they had anal hot butt sex earlier and we just didn't see it. They're all a bit sweaty and guilty about it. What is it? The thing is, it's like, what they, they, they say, it. they give a number to it. They Look, say it's 9,000 degrees. Extra. I think yeah, you need to consider the fact that Rat <laughs> was sweating even though he's not in the core. Yeah, what the fuck? They just, are in the core. No, he was sweating because he was stressed out and crying. He's emotional that he was getting locked out of a system. <laughs> Now, don't you like this straw scene? Now, I haven't seen the straw scene in a while. You know, some people say, what about the Wicker Man? No, that was Wicker. And it's very different. But this is a movie that says, hey, you remember how people like to draw straws? You know that phrase that nobody actually really uses? uh, Other than writers? Well, we're actually going to literally draw straws. In in my scene? Sorry, in my movie version of this. In Oliver's Cut, yeah. it's, It's just a close up of the black man's face because of the cropping. <laughs> I couldn't see that they were drawing straws. <laughs> it was just his face just staring at them. <laughs> so what, what were you imagining? Like they looked at him like I had no- him? They're like, let's do it. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, you thought they were whipping out their dicks. I, yeah, don't, yeah. I mean, I don't know. And they're know. like, let's fuck. It could have been anything. <laughs> let's fuck, boys. <laughs> And somehow he lost. Now, like, what, how did he, what did he lose Now, him? I haven't been punched in the face, but does it... Want to try? <laughs> but does it cause a bruise like that? It looks like he's been, like, burnt. Well, let's see, let's see. Like, the red mark on Stanley Tucci's jaw, that's from him being punched in the face. Jaw? Or... Or chin. Or eye, maybe. Is no, no, it was in his chin. See that red mark on his face? See it right there? Looks a bit like the Gallagher well, shit. I've seen a lot of different bruises form in different ways depending on the punch. Red? Mm, if it's a bloodless. Look at it. That well, not like that, no. See but that was just a square punch on the on the chin, on the jaw. Yeah. And that's what he gets. It looks like he's been burnt. Oh, because it's hot. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's... of course. Does actually would that change it? Well, like that... if you got punched right. really hard in extreme temperature, would I it think... change it? I think you're forgetting something extremely key here. Oh, Tucci We are not it. thinking about a regular human being. Oh, we're thinking about someone's shit we want to lick. We are thinking about <laughs> licking step. Wait, hang on. <laughs> licking? <laughs> hang on. All of us thinking about licking Stanley Tucci. The thing is, it was brought up, so you were thinking about it too. I 
I love it. <laughs> I love it. I feel like my tongue is yearning for some Tucci shitty. <laughs> That's on record. You're on record. Mm-hmm. Can, can we make that a quote? The recording can we make that a quote on the Facebook page? Can we make it a quote on my grave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm craving some Stanley Tucci shit. Edward. <laughs> yeah, now you're quoted too. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how it works. Fuck. And now I'll, now I'll edit out all of my mentionings of it Christ. and emphasize yours four times. Right. And then you'll be like, and then when you, oh. you ever do listen to the episode yourself, you're like, I don't remember mentioning that so many times. Years later. What if, what if yeah. this is the episode that goes viral? Years later, yeah. when I'm like applying for public office or something like that, this is. And then, you're, then the people hiring you are like, no, oh, look up this man. No, he did a podcast. He wants to <laughs> what? To Stanley Tucci? Stanley Tucci's like, well, well. He's exactly the type of and brain Stan- character we need. He's Stanley Tucci. And Stan- okay, here's a question I got asked. Why did he think that he needed to carry the fucking hammer thing or whatever, the metal thing? He knew he was going to a hot environment. Won't that just be the first thing to fucking go? I don't know. And it is. It melts through, apparently. Really? Yeah. Now, here's a fun fact. Did you know the black guy is the only guy to die for a purpose? Mm. That's... Is that true? Yeah. The captain died by accident. Oh, yeah, he did, yeah. The French guy died through stupidity. The French guy died because he was grabbing the stuff yeah, that he Yeah, allegedly, used. but, like, you know what I mean. He was grabbing the <coughs> notebook. I think Ryan's which, saying at the end of the day. At the end of the day, this guy's the only one that really changed the game. In terms of, he was like, I'm sacrificing myself. I'm going to die for a purpose. And then Stanley Tucci, spoiler alert, dies because of reasons. And then that's it, you know. That's, I mean, and, you know, Rat's fine. Uh, Rat is fine. Rat's fine. He figures out whales. He does. (laughs) It's whales! No, no, he doesn't just go that. He goes, whales! 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 It reminds me of at the end of Kung Pao. Ugh. Oh no, at a bit in Kung Pao where it's like oh, they're at a waterfall and they animate a sea. They they give CGI whale going down the waterfall. He's like, oh no, whale. And it's like, okay, but that's what this movie did. I'm very glad a movie got inspired by Kung Pao instead of it being inspired by other movies. Oh, his glasses shattered. How come his? How come the helmet hasn't shattered? Well, it's a different type because of glass. it's just. Well, I mean... Yeah, but if it's blocking out the heat... It's not blocking out the heat. But, you know what? But, like, well, if it's not doing that good of a job, then why doesn't it crack? Stanley Tucci. It's unbreakable. <laughs> I love... You. Stanley Tucci. Stanley man. Tucci shook his hand. Wait right a moment. Now. Wait, hold on a moment. Why do they make the spacesuits out of unobtainium? Because it's, that's it. It's rare, man. What? <laughs> it's, 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 it's rare, man. It's unobtainium. It's unobtainable. But how did they... Well, they found one. Well, the black guy made it. You know, because, you know, mystical magic black man. Oliver, look, it's one of those... Mis- it's like the Heartless in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, God. They actually do have hearts. You know... It's just a clever name. You know Scatman Crothers from The Shining? You know, he's the one who's like, You got the shine! You got the shine! That's the actor's name, Scatman Crothers. Oh. Um, great he name. A scat man. He was a Scatman. Um, great guy. Uh, my friend. Uh, <laughs> I'm friends with old Scatman. Of course. Crothers, who was also in one for the Cuckoo's Nest, and yes, he was. Um, everyone's in that. Uh, and and you know he's one of those mystical black men that just is like you got the shine, and then they die. You got the shine. Well, you got the shinning. You now, wanna get sued? The shinning. Now Bartek, this is an important scene here. That it is. More editing... phallic objects. <laughs> You're a phallic object. I am a bit. Now this scene is very important. See, they hook it on there. It's it's hooked on. Yeah. Hooks are used. I'm hooked in. Captain Hook. Hooked on, hooked in, hooked with. Mm. They're just hookers in general. <sighs> Stanley Tucci's shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I, now, this scene, this sequence here, I got bothered by. This is what I feel oh, yeah, was yeah. my uh, least favorite moment of the film. Now, people could say, what about the lack of sci fi accuracy? Well, I already said science faction, so you're wrong there. Mm. And people may not like the characters, and I disagree. I mean, look at Blue Eyes, and you know, and look at and look at Black Chick. They are blue. You're wrong. There's no such thing as grey eyes, you idiot. And uh, Destiny's in it. But the thing that I got really bothered by was Stanley Tucci's death. I know. Spoiler: He dies. The editing you're about to see, if you're watching this, and we are, bothers me. 
because the editing's done in a way, including the music, but in the visual way it's done is, what happens is uh, uh, one of the bombs drops off and pins Aaron Eckhart down. And Stanley Tucci tries and tries and tries to get it off of him, but he can't, so he has to run away to save his own life. But then with editing and the events that happen, the bomb gets shifted, it rolls, knocks Stanley Tucci over, and then rolls onto him and traps him. I got really bothered by the way that it was done because it was done in a way like it was a uh, ironic comeuppance, mm. which I felt was wrong. I mean, on a level, Stanley Tucci is the antagonist for the crew. He's the one who doesn't want them to go on further. He's the reason why the events have happened in the first place. But he's a good man fundamentally. Like Deep down, he's a good person. And at this point in the movie, he has proven himself to be good. And I felt like the editing choice... I may be reading too much into it, but I, I feel like I'm pretty right about this. It's just it's just done like if this was a scene in which Stanley Tucci, instead of trying to save Aaron Eckhart, decided to leave him and then that happened, it would play out the same way. Mm. And I'm very upset about that because look, look at those arm hairs on Stanley Tucci. They're, pre- they're pretty well defined, actually. Because he's hairy, yeah. except on his head. And, you know, I mean, his, of his penis, of course. Uh, can you imagine that, though? I don't have to. I got the internet. <laughs> I got the internet. You have so much Tucci porn to look through. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god. All right, I'm a little bit creeped out. <laughs> that was me swallowing some Tucci. <laughs> Whoa, guys! It looks like some days you just cannot get, get rid, rid of, of a bomb. Of a bomb. <sighs> now look at this. He's trying. That she can't hear them because she's a woman. And <laughs> what PMS? <laughs> and, uh, what does that have to do? Electromagnetics. The, the pockets, look, oh, okay, the pockets should, to his left look like a funny face. You should have mentioned EMs a bit more. Oh, EMs interfere face. with PMS. Look at the funny face. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a dog I'm that's pockets. trapped <coughs> under a well. Yeah. Make that <laughs> under a face. well? Yeah. Not in a well. Under. Under a well. Because they're trying to dig the kid out of the well. Oh, look, look. Look how this is done. It's like, oh no, he trips. Ah, ha, ha. Then, no. And he's like, oh no. He saw that coming. And then see, and there's, it feels like a ha-ha, comeuppance kind of deal. I get it. They have to make it like, oh, Aaron Eckhart has to live. Stanley Tucci has to die. But I feel like, you know, Tucci's, again, what a champ. He's like, I'm sacrificing myself. Get out of here, kid. You want to lick my shitter? Do it in heaven. <laughs> if Aaron Eckhart was just a little bit stronger, he probably could have saved him. If anyone was a bit stronger, they could have saved him, but... No one's as strong as Tucci. Mm. If Arnold Schwarzenegger was here, would he have saved him? Yeah. yeah Get to the chapel! Get to the bomb! No. He, he got to the bomb, though. He, no. He, he definitely he was at the bomb. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the best French actor ever, and I will thank you to respect him. Hey, he's not French. He's Spanish. He's Australian. We know that. Yes, that is true. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Was that a French ho <laughs> Oh. I don't uh, know, and I'm afraid. I know. Now, are we going to get any... Now, this is important. This is important. How strong are these suits? They're pretty strong. They, they are They're capable of withstanding... Be- yeah, he thousand- magically has a chain around his neck. Yeah, what the fuck? Why? Because he did a fashion shoot. Oh, right. It's like a punk style. It's fashion, thing. mom. It's fashion, mom. When don't I- you understand? I'm Aaron Eckhart. I'm going to start in the dark... Um. Night. Guys, it's not a phase. This is who he is. Guys, I'm going to start in the Dark Knight, not, but not Batman Begins, just to make it a little bit better. But fine, whatever. Dark yeah. Knight's a flawed masterpiece, and it is actually a four-act movie, not a three-act movie. Whatever. It's fine. And, you know, Heath Ledger probably wouldn't have got the Oscar if he didn't die, but that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever's Best villain ever. The, Allegedly. Sure. Why not? It's, it's been widely said, dying is a very good And, you know, even for the day, the CGI effects on Two-Face weren't up to scruff, but whatever. Fine. Neato. Cool. I, bango. Whatever. I thought it was okay. For <laughs> okay. See? Okay. I thought it was okay. Was you just have to get what you're given. I mean, sure, prosthetics would have been better, but sure, whatever. Fine. Fine. Whatever. But what I'm trying to say is... It melts chains instantly, yeah? Melts. Melts. They melted when he tried to lift this. But he can just it lift it with... him, did it? He's burning him, but it didn't burn through the gloves. Oh. Did not burn through the gloves. Interesting. So it's like, how fucking strong is this suit in comparison to, like... I know, like, 
there's obviously a difference between the metal chain and his fucking hands, but like, still the, pretty good. They mentioned in, in an earlier scene that the suit, the uh, suits can withstand up to four thousand five hundred degrees Celsius. I do like the fact that is. he is getting burnt by it, but he just casually rested his elbow on it. Yeah. And his thigh. Yeah. Because you know, I want my thigh, my inner thigh, to be burnt. I don't want to think about your inner thigh. What about Tucci's? Absolutely. Now imagine his big hairy cock. That's... <laughs> I now, thought you said he wasn't hairy. Is he cut, uncut? <laughs> his head of his penis isn't hairy. But the rest of it is. So he just has a problem with heads being hairy? Yeah. And look, look, now Aaron Eckhart's hand is is, 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 is slightly cracked. He is burnt. Oh, but look, he, he wants to grab her? Like, if I have severe burns on my hands, the one thing I want to not do is grab something with my burnt hands yeah but oh the, right her ass her ass was near his hands and he just had to be I was, like i was yes. about to call you a good boy ryan but then you said that yeah, just, bad, boy. bad boy bad R- boy Ryi. what was i being a good boy for a uh, good boy for not grabbing someone with hot hands mm. oh right hot handed oh and he's like let me get the boobs see look his his hands aren't touching her i know it's very it's very christ-like He's got stigmata. Oh my god. Yeah, he looks dead. The like imagery. Christ. You know there's a great bit in the Bible in great which temptation. it says Jesus. Love that moment. Jesus. Okay, can you not mention him, please? Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hello, would you like to talk about Jesus? Jesus. Oh, this is the spin post Jesus episode in which we make another analogy that Two Face and Aaron Eckhart are the same person and they are a Christ like figure because yeah. you know when everybody dies they all have their arms spread out like Christ. Of course. Hang on, if unobtainium is indestructible at high t- high pressures, how come the bomb destroys? Oh, it's a megaton bomb. It could destroy it, and it was doing it from the inside. It's not invincible unobtainium. It's invincible to Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. <laughs> but not Tails. <laughs> so that's Tails why Tails That's why Tails is put into the games to differentiate from Sonic. Mm-hmm. It's like Luigi, you know, like in Mario. Not in Sonic, of course. Well, most mm-hmm. Sonic characters are different from Mario. Uh, not Mario. Mario. Sonic. <laughs> yeah, every Sonic character is different from Mario. One can yeah. fly, one can glide, one can use hammer. One's apparently an echidna. One I don't know can... why. <laughs> yeah. One can that. use, uh, <laughs> oh, psychic powers. Do you know Tails' real name? Uh, his name is Pussy McWhip Boy. His name is Miles, as in Miles Prower. Miles. Well, his last name's Prower. Yeah. Miles Per Hour. It's like Ash. Oh, it's like Ash Ketchum. Yeah. And you know that Knuckles is Knuckles the Echidna. I know. We... Knuckles the Echidna. Yeah, we just. Went you don't to... hear the pun? Knuckles the. There's none. I'm, I'm, I know. What? I'm looking at you furiously right now. <laughs> Look, I'm like, I don't even want to begin with how much that, I don't even want to begin with how much this scene's about to turn me on. Look I'm at him. Like he's smoking. Sonic, he doesn't oh, chuckle. He's moist, he's which m- makes me moist. Moist. Now this scene here is moist. funny because he laughs, and that makes it funny. In it, he thinks something is funny, mm. so he laughs, and then he dies. So he dies laughing. What the fuck am I doing? I it don't know, man. Not getting naked. I know it's not. It's like all of us said the M word, he says the F word. I like, word. he's still wearing like the shirt in this severe heat. Two, <laughs> one, zero, boom. And it actually didn't go K-boom. off. K boom. <coughs> there it be? you go. And then he sacrificed himself. There's a little bit of Tucci. Didn't have to, but he did. Now, here's a question. They said it would be better if they drowned than to die in a nuclear explosion. Is that true? I don't know about that. I mean, would it be better to die instantly from a nuclear blast or die slowly from drowning? Well, I mean, like, from a nuclear blast, right? If you're saying nuclear blast, yes, it's better. But nuclear radiation poisoning is fucking horrendous. Yeah, but they're going to die from a nuclear blast. Okay, the blast would be instantaneous, in which case it would be better than pretty much anything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the one so thing you, you get wish you could die from. Drowning's like the worst thing you can die from. Can you imagine drowning? What if it's I don't like? Wanna... <laughs> what if you walk into now? A, imagine like... drowning and you had vomit. Great. What if you? But Stanley Tucci's cock is like shoved in there trying to get the vomit out. No, does that make it better? Uh... Okay, how about how drowning on Tucci's cock? Have you guys heard of placebos? 
No. The band, yeah. What is a placebo? <laughs> a placebo is when you think something is, but something isn't, but because you think it is, you are fine. Oh, like Christianity. So like... what if you walk into <laughs> a bit of water and think, I won't drown? Like Jesus, you're right. And then you won't drown. You got it. You can't drown on something you walk on. That's Aha. Nice. If you don't believe in I it, it can't in. happen. I said, you're yeah, right. I said walk in, not walk on. Yeah, but Jesus had to walk in it to walk on it. Did he, though? I mean, he had to have practice. Didn't practice you read, makes you, perfect. Do you walk in the ground or do you walk on it? Sometimes I do walk did in the ground the if Bible? I dip my feet in. Hold on. Hold on. Did you guys not read the Bible? <laughs> I'm the big Bibble fan, yeah. The Bibbles. There's a, part the in the, there's a part in the Bible where Jesus, when he's about to walk on the water... He climbs up this huge ladder. And fingers Mary Magdalene. He's, that explains it. He's on a diving board. He dives into the water, but he accidentally hits the surface and he gets hurt. Huh. And then he that, gets up and walks to the disciples. And that is why we are paying the price Guys, for his sacrifice. The price for Christ. The planet's healing itself. Coming up next for The Price for Christ. Mm-hmm. Wow, are you going to pay the sins of ourselves that he had to die for? Are you going to pay for that amazing haircut that he needs? Why did they show France again? Because his wife and kids are there. Do you not know that? Show, we already went through this. The German. They show... They show to, I like to how the opens. desert remains unaffected. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at that. The desert remains like, <laughs> unaffected. <laughs> that was Australia, Ryan. Oh, f- Far Nothing right. happens in Australia. You know, there e- are camels in Australia. We, you so know, we, right we actually export camels to Saudi Arabia. I know, because they're like an infestation. <laughs> mm. They're like, we would like camels. Yeah, to Saudi naked. Arabia, more like Saudi Anopia, please. You nailed it. Yeah. That, did he, why didn't you say Saudi Arabia? I should have been the Gambia. Prime Minister I of would Australia and leave. said that to us. What, me? No, you should be the king I should of be Australia. the Prime Minister. Like, guys, I call like a press conference. I got something very important to say. Saudi Arabia, more like Saudi Arabia. There you go. Dude, and then, amazing. and then, and they're like, "Oh my God, this is brilliant." Anything else you want to follow it up with? Yeah, I've got an encore. Stanley Tucci, Yesy he Pucci. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then, and, and then, then you advertise the podcast. And then I masturbate. Do you want to give him a Stanley, <laughs> to a picture of him? Do you want to give him a Stanley Smoochie? Uh, no. Oh, really? Only, 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 Ooh, only just, Stanley wanna, can give. So we've that. gone from Kanye West to Hillary Swank to Stanley. So Tucci. you want to you want to skip uh, you want to skip making out with him and you just want to tongue his butthole straight up. Shitter, to be precise. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't clarify if that was butthole or toilet. Uh, oh yes, oh yes, the toilet. I forgot about those. Go, I just do it in my pants. You, you break into his house and you start. What house? Tongue- <laughs> what? He doesn't have a house. What does he own? Everything. <laughs> what? He doesn't have a house. He ha- if you could do it in your house, you've done it in his because he owns everything. So you could just lick your toilet right now and you'd be tongue. Well, it's Stanley's toilet. Stanley too. She's it's Stanley's. Oh look, they came out four hours later. I wonder what they did during that four hours. It took them more than like thirty six thirty six hours to get to the core. This and- inspired Pacific Rim. They came out of the sea from the tectonic plates and. They didn't kiss in the end. Mm. Even though you thought they would. Yeah. But no, they're just friends, work colleagues. Well, he's still and up. And that is very progressive. Some people kiss, say that... What? He can't kiss someone who didn't save the German. He, he, can, he can't kiss someone when he's got that little pimple chin. You know, he just can't. Mm. You know, It gets in the way. It gets in the way, you know. What happens if it bursts? <laughs> Like it did for Bill Murray can, in Osmosis oh, Jones. Can you imagine like making out with someone and the, the, you just feel like burst pimples on your face? It's even better if it's actually cum. And right. Stanley Tucci. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. All right. Okay. Alright. <laughs> They're kissing. He's kissing you, but somehow it's contorted his body to shoot ejaculate at your face. That's... He's got to be pretty flexible. Oh, honest. he's got a big cock. That too. Well, definitely that. We've been told. Well, I've been told that there are lots of airplanes in this movie, and you see them used never. Yeah. Does that mean they exist? No. There you go. Well, Ryan, those are just Oregon. Seeing is believing. <laughs> I see a helicopter, so that's believing. Uh, seeing is believing, please. Ah, uh, please. I'm a believer. Baby. As Anne Frank would have been. Baby. Ba- <laughs> Fucking that! Oh, I knew you were going to bring that up. Oh my god! <laughs> I just want to die. But is there any um, thoughts or comments you want to bring about this movie? That this you movie think we're missing is out? as good as Rebecca Black's Friday. Which seat do I take? 
Which seat do I take? The one that's available. Have you heard the conspiracy theory that's like the Rebecca Black Friday song is an analogy of the JFK assassination? Uh, there's every everything's an analogy of the JFK assassination, including this movie. DJ Qualls is Bobby Kennedy. He is. Look at him. Oh, my fringe is slightly in my eye. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the guy who took that like person, like, that's me. <laughs> like, Fuck you! <laughs> Does that annoy you? I mean, a little. Yeah. I, I don't. Can I touch your eye? Can you not? I'll be. Go, imagine me as your hair, touching your eye. Why would? Why would I imagine you as my hair? That would be terrible. It sounds pretty. You'd kinky. be talking all the time. That's, king, that's kinky. That's kinky. Don't kink shame me. I'm gonna kink don't shame. Don't ki- Fuck you, King Shame. Look at the whales. It's, <laughs> it's whales. whales. It's whales. whales. Hey, General Stick. General Stick? General. And then Stick. It's whales. The Ultrasonics. They're so good to them. We all gotta find the whales. I always wish movies ended with more people finding whales. Like, yeah. can you imagine Lord of the Rings? It's like, we've got to go to Mordor. But first, we've got to find some whales. <laughs> to and the- my axe. You know, it's like, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Now I'm going to go find some whales. <laughs> Would have added a whole new meaning to Gone with the Wind. Rosebud of whales. That's the start of the movie, actually, so that's a bit awkward. Yeah, but it kind of wraps around, doesn't it? No. It's the last bit of the movie is like, I guess we'll never know. Now I'm going to go find some whales. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there lots of killer whales around that area? Around what? Like, sleds? Sleds? Never mind. Where, where is it? It's like Hawaii esque area, yeah? Yeah, you can. Are there lots of killer whales there? Why are you looking at me like I would know? <laughs> were, those, <laughs> were those killer whales? They were the black yeah. and white whales. Yeah, those are, those are killer whales. I thought oh, killer, I didn't I thought see killer the whales light. were primarily like in the Antarctic or Atlantic or whatever. Maybe. Yeah, they feed on seals, I'm pretty sure. Ah. They can feel Aaron Eckhart, so they need to feed. Because mm. he has a seal-like face. Well, singer, seals seal. are seals are the dogs of the ocean, after all. I've heard that. Ooh. They say sea lion? More like sea canine. Oh. Sea Ryan. Oh. Thank you, Bartek. And now they're Don't sank me. I will shank you. No, you said sank. I will sank your battleship. Ooh. Oh, is this the part where they wake up and it was all a dream? No, this is the part where they wake up and Stanley Tucci's licking their buttholes. Oh. It's like, oh, it's all come in full circle. Even It has come uh, in a full circle. Hey, look uh, over. Pepperoni pizza. Yes, this is the best part of the movie. I love the fact that he's like, I've been to the core of the earth. I want something spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? That sounds like Bartek. Like, Bartek, you'd be the guy who's like, went, I just went to the core of the earth. I need a nice hot shower with a spicy pizza. I haven't had a shower in two years, dude. What? I know. That's why you'd need one after that adventure. Yeah. Showers are so good. Oh, my God. Dude, I've been having they know, they know, yeah. They're no rolling in a mud puddle. It is true. Rolling in a mud puddle is quite the unique experience. It's good for your skin. Pigs do it. We especially, should. especially if Green. you eat the mud puddle. You gain magical powers from that. Poop, poop. That's a true statement. It makes me dumb because mud is dumb. So this was... An unthinkably great movie, guys. Yeah. And how do you end a movie? By going to an internet cafe, which, by the... Cyber cafe. Fuck me, the sideways. I'm wrong. Cyber. What I love about this is these are still things. Yeah. I don't it's understand just, yeah, the, why. The, 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 why not, isn't every cafe, by default, an internet cafe? I mean, not every cafe has an internet connection. Ah, uh, you know that's a lie. What? <laughs> Every building pretty much in the Western world has some form of internet connection. <laughs> oh, look, he's his own logo. And those glasses are too big. <laughs> are they there? Yeah, look at him. He looks amazing. Oh. I mean, he's no Stanley Tucci. But... Oh, well, Stanley's gone now, so I guess... I like this guy. He's like, what's going on? I don't know how to act. I'm holding a screwdriver for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> in an internet cafe? <laughs> Unsung heroes, spelt with no caps. Dot doc. Oh, All caps, right? no, no, no. I like how Dr. Oh, Zimsky died. One of the most public image, like public people and no one's batted an eye about it. Yeah, like, I guess was a bit of a dick, you know, I guess he's off in Africa now. Yeah. Saving the Africans from geomagnetic. I like quakes. how Australia doesn't get to find out. Yeah, no. <laughs> Cause Australia is just too chill to care. We don't, we didn't have anyone involved, so we don't give a fuck. WTF, mate. 
And I like, he takes off his glasses so we know it's him. And then Destiny, meet world. World, meet Destiny. What a great way to finish your movie. Zoomed in on his Inter- face. It's, it's, he looks a bit like Toby Maguire there. Well, everybody looks like Toby Maguire in the early 2000s because he was everyone. Uh-huh. And he's I, happy because he's getting pictures of Spider-Man. Can we, before the movie ends, just give a, a, a little bit of a thank you to the sound design in this movie? I really mm. liked in the credits here. It has music playing, but every time the names came past the the sound dipped and there was a whoosh in a normal movie it would just have the whoosh but the music actually dips it does like I think that's actually like it's a little thing but the movie did have sound design that was really good like earlier when they used Mm. the sonic beam when they were all screaming it wasn't it was actually really soft because the other thing was loud so I thought that was really good sound design whoever did the sound Bravo, you so deserve you me, everything you need. So, are you telling me if there's something loud, right, it makes everything else sound soft? Well, if it's incredibly loud, yeah. So, can it be, like, figuratively loud? And Well, maybe. So, if I'm screaming and you're like, help me, I'm louder than you. No, but if I'm, like, if I've just revealed a big secret and you're screaming, but, I'm, ah! but I've, like, revealed something really, really dramatic. So, because his is more important. Well, well it depends. My think. depends how good my reaction is. Because sometimes you remember reactions more than the news. Mm. I mean, you know, people remember the reaction of nine eleven more than the actual nine eleven. Mm. Like, look at this movie. I remember Aaron Eckhart's reaction. Seven Eleven was an inside job. Wow, that was incredibly offensive to people who work at Seven <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> I live near a 7-Eleven. I have been to one. Now all the fans Actually, of the show are like... Just at every one. 7-11. I'm a fan of 7-Eleven. I think it's a good Wow, thing. now you're really taking it back. Stand by your convictions, young man. <laughs> I'm a fan of 9-Eleven, personally. That's... All right. My dad's birthday it shows is that 9-11. I care. Okay, is it actually? Yep. Thanks, DJ Qualls. <laughs> So, uh, it's time for reviews. Yeah, the way you said that made it sound like DJ Qualls is your dad, Ryan. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Wasn't His I your dad at the start is... of this? Well, aren't we all my dad? Mm. Who is also Steve, um, Steve Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> I like how you had to say it begrudgingly because uh, you really don't know Steve Tyler, do you? No, because I know you keep saying it. Alfred like Woodard, that's talking. the woman that is from... Deborah. I'm, no, um... So, Deborah. are we going to talk about our reviews? Nah, we're gonna have to talk about Stanley Tucci's amazing butt. All of us. No, give us your review and rating. Pink nipples. Shitter. You mentioned what? You said his shitter specifically. Well, butthole is now what I'm specifying. Okay, now we're now we're being. What about what about his foreskin or lack of? I don't know. We don't know yet. You find out with your tongue. I mean, you could. I'll find out with my fingers. And so the movie is over. And now I think it's time (laughs) that we all give our own reviews and ratings. Okay, Bartek. Oliver, why don't you go first, Mr. Science, to give us the proper opinions and the brilliance of this film, which I'm sure you understand and can convey to us. The thing is, like, standard scientific principles kind of go out the window when you're talking about Stanley Tucci. Mm, So there's, like, like, super principles here. It's not really fair to talk about the science when he's on screen. Because uh, no. there is no law for anything so you, around it. So you came for the science, but you stayed for the Tucci. I did. He has his own, what we might equate to a gravitational force of sexiness. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just draws you in. You cannot escape it. I want to make a correction. He, he didn't... He didn't um, he didn't. He didn't come for the science and stay for the Tucci. He, he stayed for the science and came for the Tucci. Oh, I did. <laughs> like, you can talk. <laughs> oh, I, I came... Before his your tongue in the came, movie. your tongue came, Ryan. I came from remembering the man, you know. I need to wash my hands <laughs> and your mouth too. <laughs> Keep going with your review, young gentleman. Despite the science around Tucci, I think it was a fairly entertaining movie. Regardless, I think it was definitely worth the time, and I think it really lived up to my earlier expectations when I was very young. It was. It was enthralling, and it was... Emotional. Tolerable. <laughs> oh, that's great. How, what a rate, what a rate, what rating would I you I love give when this? you call something you love tolerable. I love being... I give, well, don't you find family members tolerable? I give this movie three Tucci buttholes out of one. Out of one? That's a... F- that's fucked up. 200%, ton. dude. And think, his butthole fits a lot. Yeah. It fits a whole Tucci. And I'm saying three. 
Bartek, what about you, young man? percent even. This is a film that... <laughs> this is a film. <laughs> it is a film. <laughs> <laughs> this... and, I, and I give it five stars. This, this is a film. <laughs> this film is a brilliant film. It is a film that is... And you know, this is something you have to take into account. It's over two hours long. Mm. Which the standard... Not my version. <laughs> not Oliver's sped up chipmunk version uh, very um, when you have a film that's over 90 minutes you kind of want to consider how much over 90 minutes it is this one obviously passes like the 130 hour uh, sorry 130 130 hours wow. 130 take that 127 hours <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah 130 minute mark um, and that is asking a lot of people especially in a film that is science fiction and gives you a bunch of complicated science. Um, perhaps more so for people who are familiar with the sciences, it's something that can be followed. But I think that this is a film that is brave and willing to take the risk. It is saying, hey, all of you common people, because th- lay people, this is a film that's coming out to your cinemas and we want you to watch it. I know it's a big ask. But we believe in you. We believe in you, audience. You can sit through this, you can learn something, and you can see a fantastic adventure of six marvellous men and a whole crew and their rat. And And their rat. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, But the reality in real... uh, The reality in real life, guys. Real life reality. The stuff that happened for realsies. Sick tautology, bro. Is that people... Oh, boy remember it somewhat but people didn't love it they didn't respect it they didn't love it and they didn't fulfill the movie's expectations you know normally when a movie comes out the audience are the ones with expectations you know they're paying money to see it um they want it to be good they want to have a good time this movie is like you can have a good time but you have to show respect in return. Yeah. yeah. And one of the biggest problems in unappreciated masterpieces is that when all, everything is said and done, people aren't showing respect to the films. Mm. This is a film that demands respect, and I think that takes a lot of balls. There's no wonder Stanley Tucci agreed to be in this. It is a movie that took a lot of balls to make, a lot of balls to simply be, yeah. and a lot of balls to be released. And I think it can be respected for that, not only because of its attitude, but because the movie itself is really fascinating. It's quite the load of balls. Mm. Release is, the balls. <laughs> it is a film. Oh it is a film that deals with death really well, like the, the the body count of four people, not including all the pacemaker fellas. By the way, Jared Leto did a song on this. What the fuck? <laughs> Thirty what seconds to Mars was in this. No wonder you kept Wait. talking about Dark Knight. Fuck! <laughs> I should have known. The worst Joker on screen wrote something that, in that's a song. An opi- that's an opinion. Is it a, <laughs> is it a right opinion? Uh, what did you say? It is not only a film. That is brave because of its attitude, but it's also because it's a fantastic film. It deals with death really well, just ignoring all the people who died for their pacemaker issues. The four characters who died while journeying, journey, journeying into the core, all of their deaths were poignant. Mm-hmm. They were all emotional. Whether they were all, you know, accidents beneficial or, or accidents, sacrifices, sacrifices. It's you know up in the air, but it is meant to take place in reality the science is really good the deaths were really emotional the film was really good and i give this film a tender look from my eyes a steady beat from my heart and all of the good memories that it gave me. That's a beautiful rating. I thought, oh, oh wow, I know what my rating is going to be now. <laughs> well, guys, here's my review. Fantastic film or fantastic film? I can't you decide. decide. I can't decide. It's a hard decision. Ah, but here's it's the thing. It's a hard decision. The Core came out a long time ago. It did. And it's relevant to today as it was then, if not even more. We are in a time in which the core could stop spinning because of evil use of science. That day is around the corner, 
and we need some unsung heroes, preferably hunky scientists, oh. and a Stanley Tucci, oh. who is a different level of hunk, oh. to willingly sacrifice themselves to restart the core. Oh, fuck yeah. This movie <laughs> makes me want the core to stop spinning so oh, that I yeah. could possibly be the Stanley mm. Tucci of that crew, but yeah. that may not happen. Oh. Wait, wait. The damn evil politicians are trying so hard to save the world. Oh, son of a bitch. Just be like the just be like other countries like China and just say fuck it and just keep going at full steam ahead, you know? This Ch- film is actually Okay, look. I'm Who's just making a reaction video to Ryan's review. I'm making a generalist <laughs> comment, okay? Because this is a film for the general masses. Mm. And this is a film that speaks about general science and has a general with amazing eyes. If I had to give this a rating, I would give it two beautiful ocean blue eyes out of my blind eyes. You're blind? Yeah. I couldn't to love that. So, (laughs) some people had some other things to say. Oh my god. Now, IMDb is a place where I get reviews, and the first review I feel was secretly written by Oliver back in 2006. <laughs> and it's written as now I've got some negative ones and I've got some positive ones because you've got to show both sides of the coin, like the Dark Knight says. And this is a one star review, okay? That's not acceptable. And this was him back in the day, possibly. It's called Logic Takes a Beating. Oh. One star. It's a bit lengthy, but boy, does it nail down what it's trying to say. Because, hey, we've got to respect him. Ryan, if I know anything about you, it's about you're not afraid of looking into lengthy things. Now, this review contains spoilers, boys. So just fucking ah. strap your erection down with oh, your belt buckle shit. so that the ladies don't see the oh. tent you're pitching, okay? Oh, because God. it starts as such. <clears throat> mm. This expose for people who have seen... This expose is for the people who have seen the movie and can't quite put their finger on why they have come away feeling so dirty. Oh, I'll put my finger well, on Well, <laughs> people following are... For the people follow Well, people following... Well, what, no, sorry. Well, people... Following are a few reasons why the core poops poops all over science along with having the worst plot characters and premise of all time. Oh. Firstly... That little speech that the physicist gives to the class about sound traveling through rocks? He says something about the wavelength increasing. Ding! Right! And then he says the frequency will decrease. Bzzz! Wrong! Frequency stays the same regardless of the medium it is traveling through. Is the wavelength that will, in fact, decrease? Oh. Oh, boy! Shit. Secondly... What's with the explanation of how the Earth is going to end? Burning a peach with a can, deodorant wait, 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 wait. can? Can you repeat that first line of that paragraph in the in the style of Jerry Seinfeld? Secondly, what's the explanation of the Earth is going to end? Burning a peach? <laughs> Burning a peach? With a deodorant can. What? Come on. I know military people are considered to be considered no brainers, but he was demonstrating this to the people that led a high tech organization. This patronizes any min- military personnel as well as the audience. That's actually not like a big Thirdly <laughs> the, prem- the premise of the movie is based around the effects that occur because the core of the earth stops rotating. Let me just first note that there are geological records to say that the magnetic field has changed direction many times in the past with no evidence to support that each time it has reduced close to zero. To the best of my knowledge and that of every history book out there, this happens without any of us combusting like a peach. (sighs) Fourthly... Wait, Jesus. The scene with the Golden Gate Bridge heating up because of a hole in the magnet field? I think someone got magnet field and ozone layer mixed up. The idea of punching a hole in a field is absurd. The field may be weakened, but the atmosphere would still protect our little bridges from cosmic radiation. Boom. Fifthly. <laughs> Fucking hell. You think this is it? Let me die. <laughs> There's a force field magnet around the Earth. Not much of one, but there is one. Not an electromagnetic energy field. An energy field would do sweet fuck all to deflect radiation. The same radiation that is supposed to wipe out humans 
like the peach. <laughs> Sixthly, oh, <for> fuck's sake. <laughs> you're gonna be saying this a lot. <laughs> Five. Bartek's got his head down on the table. I'm laughing. Oh. Fifthly, oh, sixthly, I don't want to skip this. Sixthly, five 200 megaton nukes. Come on, those w- those would weigh about 250 tons each. Let's try to transport that on the dildo shaped Virgil and the computer simulations on how they would be set off. Absurd. All in one spot. That wouldn't create that. That wouldn't create the required rotational force, since there would be no rotational force due to the symmetry. Yeah, he finally gets it right in the end to place them apart from each other. How they initially overlooked this one, I have no idea. I just want to know for myself. He really Tucci did mention that four hundred people figured that plan out. By the yeah. way, so I just wanted to mention. Seventhly, oh the material used to withstand Stop. all the pressure and temperature on Virgil was called unobtainium. Nuff said. Eighthly, oh, you know what? <laughs> I just want to mention. Going. I just want to mention. How often do we hear seventhly or eighthly? Keep holding on. Oh my god. Assuming we just spent the entirety of the world's budget on developing paradoxically copious amounts of unobtainium, it would take another ten budgets over to have the resources to control the internet. Ninthly, oh. when Virgil <laughs> was tunneling downwards. Hello, darkness, my. <laughs> um, ninthly, when Virgil was tunneling downwards, why could the people walk around inside as if it was horizontal? They mentioned <clears throat> the rotating. The, they did mention the rotating bridge, but didn't mention anything about rotating hallways or the rip in the space-time continuum needed to walk straight between the bridge and the subsequent hallways. The compartments would need to rotate individually, which would put them out of alignment with each other for other compartments. Logically, they would be aligned parallel for everyone to be walking horizontal and not fall to the front of the ship, as the front is pointing towards the center of the earth. If only they could pretend Virgil was round and the entire inside could rotate as one. A pity every shot shows a long, a long, uh, a long cylinder ship incapable of this. Um, can we, like, start a Kickstarter to get this guy <laughs> fucking laid? Tenthly? Like, don't look at it, Vardek. Oh I'm not God. reading it, I just want to look at it. Tenthly? The giant geo that they crashed? Dude, this guy has a lot of questions, <laughs> Oliver. You had a lot of questions back in 2006. Oliver, you have to pay attention. You have to respond to this at the end. Tenthly, the giant geo that they crashed into? All that pressure, all that temperature, but it wasn't enough? They get out and walk around? I don't know. Those I know those spaces they had on looked cool, but they couldn't withstand the one thousand degrees of temperature and a few thousands few thousand kpa of pressure that is needed to keep the geode from collapsing under the weight of the world eleventhly eleven <laughs> see these are all words that have never been used before <laughs> when the, that's what i got it for when the ship springs a leak it would have been like a nuke going off in the ship but instead it took a few minutes for the for the compartment to crush. Twelfthly, the unlucky guy that has to walk through 9,000 degrees temperature in a suit only designed to withstand 5,000 degrees, he makes it to the duct and switches the lever. 9,000 degrees is about two to three times the temperature of a nuclear bomb going off. I think the walls and the floor of the corridor would have been glowing white from heat. Our man would have been vaporized, but luckily for him, only his converse pumps melted to get the lever. Thirteenthly. Jesus. <laughs> the guy that pulls out the plutonium rods undergoing fission, he didn't even have a helmet on. Ten dollars says his kids will have five noses, three mouths, and a foot coming out of their heads. I guess it's good a good thing, though, that DNA of such a twit is wiped out from our society in these industrial accidents. Yeah, you'd think hey, he'd at least say their names. Hey, Oliver. Fourteenthly. <laughs> you want to hear it? No! Hey, Oliver, you got to hear it. Fourteenthly, when the power cut from the lack of reactor rods, they hook up with the power cables to the inner hull. Where do they put the ground? What? <laughs> Where do they put the ground? Where is the ground? There needs to be a potential drop for power to be gained. And if there was a ground, then anyone that touched the hull would have been electrocuted. He's such an idiot. The underground. 
fifteenthly, the arming code for the nukes was the right. first four prime numbers. One, two, three, five. Pretty sure one is not a prime number. Fuck. <laughs> and then, well, that's about all. And you. that's not even going into the fact about Fuck how the you. core could stop spinning in the first place. Stop. <laughs> wait, 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 Oliver, you want to hear the last bit? No. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. What? Thanks for your time. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I hate you. Wait, hold on, hold on. One's not a prime number? <laughs> Technically, no. Why not? <laughs> because a prime number is a number that can only be divisible by one and itself. Yeah. So it's but, one and itself. In but one, one is itself, yeah. so. So it can't, yeah. That's why it can't. But guys, we have a more positive review from London. That's a part of the movie that takes place there. Oh, oh, the trail. Oh, the trail. Oh, looking at me. Oliver, remember so the trail. Remember the trail. You wrote that review, by the way. I don't, I don't know why you're looking at me like this. I'm just going to not look at Oliver when I say this one. Uh, <laughs> eight stars, Ollie. Oliver just kissed Ryan, just to let you all know. Better than its reputation. The Core is a solid action slash adventure slash disaster flick with a novel idea and a great cast. True, it is very silly and some of the effects don't quite come off, but that's true of most films in its genre. I've watched it on DVD a couple of times now, always late at night, always steeped in alcohol, and I have to say it passes a couple of very easy hours. The opening scene in Trafalgar Square with the crazy pigeons is better than anything in the day after tomorrow, and who can resist the beautiful, talented, Oscar-winning actress Hilary Swank? I can. So please, give the call a break. Stop taking it so seriously. Down a six pack and accept the core into your life. Fuck <laughs> you. Is this like a cult? <laughs> One star review again, boys. Oh, here we oh, go. No. The explanation for all the science in this science fiction movie. One star. Sixteenthly. <laughs> oh, prepare yourself. <laughs> Kill me. Review contains spoilers. Mm. How could trillions of tons of spinning molten metal suddenly just stop? A wizard did it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. If I had, if it had stopped, wouldn't the magnetic field just collapse immediately? A wizard did it. Why would a vanishing field cause electronic storms? A wizard did it. Can you use three? Can you use a three thousand degree nuclear reactor as a power source when the temperature outside is nine thousand degrees? A wizard did it. Why even have? Why even have? EVA facilities if there are if there are no conceivable circumstances under which you expect to use them. A wizard did it. Can I? Why would you wait, put wait, headlights? Wait. What? A wizard did it. We just wait, got wait, the answer there. Yeah, can I point out that Stanley Tucci was in the Harry Potter movies? Um, was he? Yeah. Which one was he? The wizard. Yeah. Fuck, you nailed it. <laughs> Why would you put headlights on a vehicle that doesn't have windows? A wizard did it. How do you bend your arms under a jillion quatloos per inch of pressure? A wizard did it. Do NASA-trained pilots often abandon the controls immediately after they've established that the autopilot is incompetent? A wizard did it. Hang on, though. How do you see a vessel with no control surfaces anyway? Of course. A wizard did it. I like that one has a of course. (laughs) How on Earth, or in Earth... A few megaton of explosives supposed to affect a trillion tons of superheated metal. A wizard did it? How? I mean, really. How did they expect it to go back up? What? How? What? How? A wizard did it? And then, and the biggest mystery of all, how did such a dull, unengaging, androgynous Botox stick insert insect with more fat in her lips than the rest of her body and an acting range that runs all the way from pouty to petulant win an award for best actress in a leading role not just once but twice you guessed it a wizard did it oh, and then I have my last no, one Hilary Swank did it now, are you trying to look up if he was actually in Harry Potter? I am. I'm, I, would, I was fairly certain. Uh, he's American. Ed, is there a single American in a Harry Potter film? Yes. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Really? Yeah. Wasn't that a whole thing of, like, only British actors? I'm sure I mean, Americans... American. I'm sure Americans have popped up at some point. I mean, they. I mean, that's maybe what Fantastic Beasts are for. The film franchise, they have American actors. Okay, well, I just meant the Harry Potter. But, like, um, that's a Harry Potter universe. Either way, I'm talking about the main. Names. He's not in it, bro. Sorry, man. You just wish he was in I'm it. I'm so sorry. A wizard did it. A I, wizard did I it. I keep thinking of Hunger Games. Yeah, he's in Hunger Games. Now, guys, I have last review. It's a ten star. 
Now, this is great. God, I love this movie. Unique, entertaining. It has everything. Ten stars. Now, this review, Oliver, this review, Bartek, this review, Ryan, this review, listening people, has spoilers. So just be warned. This movie is way underrated. It is probably my favorite end-of-the-world movie. There's the genius professor who preferred to teach the new generation than use his intellect to work for a big paying job that would flatter his ego and make him look important. It destroys the idea that when you aren't good enough at something to work in the field, you teach it. Professors are underrated, and this makes them shine in a new light. There's this woman in a man's world. Men try to keep females off big ego boosting jobs. But she's good at it. It's her calling. She first get blamed. After all, she's so pretty and young, so she has to be lame. But they find out that the accident happened way before her decisions, and that actually saved the day against all odds. There's also this geek. <laughs> a, pure compu- a, a pure computer genius who can hack a company with a mere piece of gum wrapping and two notes of music with it. Don't mess with geeks. He didn't hack a computer. But don't mess with geeks. Don't mess with geeks. Hashtag. We also see him have a big emotional moment. So the belief that introverts are just distant, cold, and calculated gets shattered. There's some deep emotions going on in there. We also have the moral that when your defense army is so full of mistrust, they can end up destroying the world and themselves along with it and kicking a dead horse with more of the problem isn't going to cut it. Even if weapons can be used to save people, you have to aim them properly, not at people with good intentions. And even so, you can die in the process. What the fuck is he talking about? (laughs) Like, did you not not watch the movie? (laughs) Like, we just watched the movie. No, now, he's, he's let me know. Let me, <laughs> he was German. Not making any sense. Let me know. This guy now writes three with the number three. <laughs> three loved ones makes this makes this <laughs> ugly world worth saving. It doesn't have to be perfect. We don't need the arrogance to care for the whole planet to do something heroic. A simple man wishing to save what his precious, what his pre, what. What his precious to him can do a lot of heartfelt good. If everyone was to do this, to do their share, the world would become a better place way faster than Superman would be able to make it. But that's my own interpretation. <laughs> you have a great apocalyptic moments. You have funny moments. The impact on children. Children. <laughs> children. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the impact on children. Oh yeah, no, that's written correctly. You oh, just yeah, I just, I'm just getting emotional. Sorry. Scared of the birds, you mean? Yeah, that was really impactful on and the, the children. Sounds like it impacted your fucking ability to speak. Hey, Stanley Aurora. Tucci's getting me emotional. Okay, he hasn't even <laughs> mentioned Tucci at all in this entire Ryan, review. Ryan, just say Aurora Borealis. Oh, okay, Adrian Borealis. <laughs> Okay, guys, a, um, do you want to hear about the children or not? Yes. Yeah. Rival, rivalry and making peace. How people behind the scenes in the dirt can actually be way more productive and clever than people bragging in the spotlight. How criminals can actually care much more for the fate of the world than people who think they are in charge of it and only care about their personal control, led by fear far more than reason, and certainly not wisdom. This guy's speaking some real truth bombs, Bartek. It was a family-friendly movie. Heartwarming. How is that family-friendly? It was magnificent to see deep in the earth the giant geode and diamonds. Ah! (laughs) 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 Was this like dictated? They put one of those little squiggly marks after us. Oh, like, yeah, it's called a tilde. 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 Yeah. Tilde Swin. So they put Tilde Swin <laughs> after So Ah! Watch, we need to talk about Kevin! Exclamation marks. And the <laughs> science. Maybe a lot of people hated it because it seemed far too fetched. But that's what we said about the greatest discoveries before we accepted it centuries after. <laughs> yeah. That's what we said, guys. Like the Earth being round and not the center of the universe with God's eye directly staring at it. I think it is possible. I like making theories, and I recently thought about maybe the gravity isn't only done by rotating around the sun. Maybe all things have a center of gravity on its own. On 
its own. Sorry, not on its own. On its own. That's even, technically correct. Even people. We can take pictures of their energy. Some weirdos call it auras. Apparently it exists. <laughs> Things have one too. <laughs> he's like, I think he's trying to say like some people think only people have auras. It's like things have some too, you know. So everything has energy. So I wondered if the Earth could have one of its own. That movie explained it in details. <laughs> in details, Bartek. This guy is just so and far And it made off the so much end. sense. Well, to me, I was open to the idea. And how powerful is the magnetic field? Enough to repel the energy of the sun so we won't boil. Not just from... Not just... From uh, from Bass Babble's crust, the ozone, but energy too. And this energy is made by by force. T- like turning a bucket full of water above your head fast enough. The water stays in and the planet turning around the sun. Ryan, I feel like I'm losing brain cells. I'm so Wait, sorry. Wait, this guy's speaking I so can't. much logical sense. Did I you not watch the No, okay, Oliver, you're going to give me... Okay, Oliver, I know there's no I mention of Stanley Tucci anymore, but Bartek, what do you think so far? Beast. I think that you need to keep going oh, the thanks. fuck on. So, to have someone turning inside the earth <laughs> and how... <laughs> and how small repetitive strikes can disturb and even stop it or... Our moral and health. <laughs> what? what? Say that again? Stop! <laughs> and how small repetitive strikes can disturb and even stop it. Or our moral and health. That, it actually says that. It, <laughs> it's it actually says that. <laughs> and then, Bartek. Yeah? It's brilliant! Yes, it is! The earth is alive! Yes. Changing, moving, and if its heart stops, we all die. Oh, no. Yeah. I bet many hate the idea, because then you can't suck its blood and do whatever you want to it. You'll poison- (laughs) What the fuck? It's talking about like a taxi or something? You'll- you'll poison yourself right back- I wish I'd poison myself! (laughs) Fuck me! You'll poison yourself right back to- The core. Oh! (laughs) He brought it back. I was uncertain. He brought it back. I forgot this was a review for the core. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come on. How something so far from our eyes could affect us like the moon and the tides? And their idea of consequences letting the suspense intrigue us before they explain it? Like, how can you think that you are on top of the world, young, <coughs> successful, but then in a second out of the blue, you drop dead? How much it's important to enjoy yourself now while you still can. Mm. How much it's importance? Yeah. Yeah, don't you, don't you get that? I felt bad when they hid the information from the population. The masses could have come up with ideas. Like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like putting... Wait, guys. Like putting lightning rots. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that could have been... Wait. Like putting lightning rots. That could have been useful. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 putting lightning rots. Rots? I think maybe rods? No, no, he's just, <laughs> he's just an idiot. <laughs> no, he's ahead of the curb. He just stated, this man stated, maybe these ideas are centuries ahead. Right. Like, we thought right. the planet Earth was flat for so long, and then, you know, who came along and said it wasn't flat? Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Who came along and said it wasn't flat? Ryan. Robbie Rot. Ryan. Robbie Rot. Wasn't it? Was Coper- wasn't it Copernic? It was. Yes, it was. He was Polish. Yeah, and he was right, Polish. Right. He's ahead of the curb, but it's the wrong curb. Did you know Poland only apologised a couple of years ago formally to Copernicus for treating him the way they did? Like, you know they, they made a statement <laughs> about, like, to Copernicus, we're formally sorry for how you were treated, like, because he died very yeah. badly. But, but guys, <clears throat> where were we in the review? Oh, no! At blissful ignorance tend to explode in your face sooner, soon or later. Enjoy it while it, enjoy it while it lasts, I guess. But then you are powerless. It wasn't an act of God, but an act of human stupidity. But yeah, go ahead, just whine and blame God. Way easier than to do something about it. No, wait, you're dead. <laughs> I guess people really hated to see that. Hum, <laughs> not hmm. 
hum. hum. <laughs> but the truth always comes out. He can't hide no, it. No, 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 no. Read it properly. Oh, uh, but the truth always come out. Yeah. Soz. Don't read it. You're supposed to be in the corner crying like a bitch about this guy's cerebral genius. Cere- cerebral genius. Well, obviously. <laughs> you can't hide it from the people who want to know. People who want to tell always find a way. But the least we can do when people die for others is to know and be grateful. I adored this film. Full of emotions, science, morale, colourful characters, but no sex. Not even sexy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said it was a family Hold on. film earlier. Hold on. Oh, no. But no sex. Not even sexy clothes. No one farted. What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a flop. Don't waste your time. <laughs> Good. He gave it 10 stars. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he gave it 10 no, stars. Wait, was that, was that no, 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 hold on. This is how it ends. But no sex, no, not even sexy clothes. No one farted. Man, what a flop. Don't waste your time. It could make you think. And that could make your brain create new pathways between your neurons. Ouch. Thank <laughs> God it's entertaining. <laughs> you gave it 10 stars. <laughs> I think that last point is to make fun of people who don't like this movie. Yeah. Like, it didn't even have nudity in it or farts. Oh, boo. Yeah, I, I see where he was going. Yeah. So, Oliver, thanks for writing all those reviews. I want to, <laughs> I want to die. That was the best. He wants a pie. Is that what he said? Yeah. You want a pie? Well, have you ever thought about that guy's theories and how they may be correct? I stand by my words. Yeah, I stand by my words. Maybe, you know what, Ryan? He should get the Stanley Tucci cookbook and make a cream pie. When the scientists in the future archive find the archive of this, they'll listen back and be like, oh my god, they're the ones who had the debate about this guy's theories to begin with, and that Oliver guy was way wrong. We're using this guy's theories on morals and science and how they're all the same thing. (laughs) And lightning rots. (laughs) Wait, you don't know what lightning rots are, so you can't complain. And 16thly. Fuck. 16thly, I would like to mention, thank you guys. You guys have been amazing, fantastic, wonderful listening people. If you stuck around this long, bravo, because Jesus. Oliver was a bit of a negative Nelly, and I get that that can be not erotic. Well, I mean, Stanley Tucci hasn't been on screen for a little he, while. He, he, you could have farted, Oliver. Not even sexy clothes, not Oliver. Not even sexy clothes. <laughs> not even sexy clothes. <laughs> God damn it. You guys have been fantastic, amazing, wonderful, wonderful listening people. If you want to find us, you can... It's like a game of find words, Waldo or Wally. Depends where you are. If you're from somewhere else that doesn't have that, well, you lost your point of reference, son. Um, find Gunter. Just look up Spit and Polish Presents. We have YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, and uh, Podbean. You know, who knows what else we want. We may be on a Spanish streaming site. Mm. Fun fact, we are. So, hola. Um, so, you guys have been great. As always, Oliver and, and Peter and Jennifer, yeah. a pleasure. Not so much for Ollie, I didn't like that guy. Hey! Bartek, you were a very, very good boy today. Good boy, Bartek. Yes, I get a lollipop now. Yes, Stanley Tucci's gonna give you a lollipop in the back room. So. Uh, from his cookbook. And oh. you guys have been wonderful. Until next time, remember to be kind to each other. <gasps> I put on sexy clothes. And there's also sex as well. Uh, 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 With the uh, family. uh, Family entertainment.